All righty. Welcome, everybody. To anyone and everyone who's going to watch this, maybe afterwards, or is going to hop in and watch with us. It is Discotech Day. Discotech, of course, being one of my favorite anime licensors and distributors in North America. So, I'm gonna gonna live stream their uh, little, I guess, direct ash. If you want to compare it to something, their uh, announcement and information for basically the year, or at least the uh, what's going to be coming out the next little bit. So, hope you guys watch or hang out. We'll talk about some anime and stuff like that. See what's going on. See what's going down. Uh, as for announcements and stuff like that, I'm actually not too sure what they're going to be announcing. Uh, hopefully in a little bit I'll have some people joining us and we'll all give a little bit of a chat and talk about what sort of anime is going to be going on. We'll just see how it goes. Got some music playing in the background right now. It's about 14, 15 minutes until show goes live. Maybe a little bit more than that. We'll see. As for what I'd like to see from Discotech for the next little bit, uh, of course, Gunbuster being the biggest thing. Gunbuster, of course, being the OVA, not the movie. They announced at their last uh, sort of direct slash announcement time that they're going to be doing the hey how's it going it hello welcome what's going on are you live streaming on youtube yeah because i'm a huge huge piece of shit <laughs> link me that okay i guess we're stars now cool. yeah i know right who would have thought ruby ruby alt or ruby 4chan discord um, I was just kind of running down. I, I made a. I actually wrote down um, a list of stuff that I'm hoping gets announced for Boomer Anime, which will oh, be great. Geez, I'm out of the loop for everything. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> uh, uh, Discotech, I'll one be... of my favorite publishers in North America, is doing like their equivalent of the Nintendo Direct type stuff. Oh yeah, I know Discotech. They're pretty based. Yeah. yeah. Hold on, I'll see if I can... I might as well stream it here as well. There. You can, now, you, now you guys can see it in the, uh, in the chat, the voice chat. Oh. But yeah, um, I was just saying how last... Last, uh little thingamajigger they announced that they're doing the gunbuster ova and they're actually going to be doing an english dub for it so i'm hoping for more information on that so i can throw copious amounts of money at physical products that i'll keep wrapped in plastic and never watch true um, um i'm also probably going to guess that some more loop in the third stuff probably announced it's a pretty safe bet Jeez, I haven't watched anything in so long. I think <laughs> I watched Gunbuster a long time ago, but I remember nothing from it. That's the worst part. Uh, so it'd be a good cool. excuse to <laughs> it'd be a good excuse to watch it again if if they do dub it. And I mean, the thing the thing with Discotech as well is like the the dubs aren't bad or they're not rushed or anything like that. Yeah, they don't have to like keep up with the weekly schedule. Yeah, they don't have to simul demand. dump and ruin it. <laughs> Gosh. Because oh, they also did the yeah. um yeah. they did the um memories dub, which was actually very good. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see. Also, also this way poster. also this way, uh I'm not spamming because last time I just friggin spammed the uh anime channel true with all true. the announcements with twitter this is, just makes it easier true 
see what we got here. But another quick rundown. A lot of stuff I want is stuff that would just get Blu-ray announcements. Apparently they have like one or two big announcements for stuff. So I'm guessing they probably rescued some IPs from other things that haven't been licensed in a bit. Okay. Um, but I mean, like, I want to see, I want to see Golden Boy, something they already own, but they haven't done a DVD print run in like forever. Uh, so right. I want to see, like, I want to see like Golden Boy get a Blu-ray release, which would be great. In the in the current era, yeah, yeah, that would be great. Especially if they do like um, Memories, they even or uh, Project Echo, they did a really good upscale um, of it to do both a like proper 1080p like they actually got the 35 millimeter film the actual and, film yeah, yeah yeah and did like an actual proper upscale for it so like could you imagine that with like golden boy or like some of the uh some other older anime that's kind of what i want to see um black magic m66 uh which is done by the guy who did um done by Sh uh, i think it was shiro is his name uh the same guy that did apple seed but it's a little bit older um, they didn't do the DVD release, but last time I looked it up, the DVD release was 200 and some dollars because it only had a single print run in like 2006 or 2007 or something like that. Jeez. So I'm pretty That's sure that... That's I said. Ruby can't be anime because <laughs> no, Ruby is no, good and keeps getting better. Ruby is bad and keeps getting better. It's worse. Texas anime, all right? <laughs> Just like Texas toast. <laughs> uh, I was doing the bit because I know uh, Katra hates anime these days. Yeah, man, I absolutely Every hate anime. I hate modern anime. It's the worst. That's why I watch like three shows a year. Did um, I miss anything? No, yeah, not yet. It hasn't started yet. It's uh, about eight minutes out. Just been bullshitting because we're uh, I'm live on YouTube as well, but probably no one's watching, so I don't care. <laughs> cool. I know, right? It's gonna be great. Hello, YouTube. Remember, Ruby is good and keeps getting better. Oh, you're gonna Ruby's give me cancer. Bad and keeps getting worse. <laughs> um, I. You think me saying that is gonna mess with your YouTube out? Yeah, algorithm. it's gonna mess with the algorithm. For people who gonna... watch your stuff, <laughs> there's gonna be my a algorithm link to defense of people of people defending Ruby or something. Yeah, my algorithm. It's ruined. I can't believe I single-handedly associated Catra with murder of birds. I know, right? Literally, literally the satanic panic. <laughs> um, some other stuff I'd like to see, like th these are going to be completely out there. Like this is going to be like if this stuff gets announced, um, it would actually blow my mind. Berserk ninety seven. Imagine if that even like imagine if really they like got that. the Berserk license. Like, let's go. I mean, big. That'd, That'd be, be huge. Big. Um, another one, huge. another, like, really niche one that I don't think, like, has, I don't even know if it got a DVD release in North America, was Dragon's Heaven, which is, like, a 40-minute OVA, but it's, like, super, super, um, I just blanked on the artist name. It's super influenced by that artist that a bunch of, like, that, um, like, even Miyazaki and them were, uh, Zuka? uh Mobius. Pretty sure. Hold on. Because it's what Nausicaa was um, uh, very influenced by. Yeah. Yeah, Mobius. Because he's also the one that everyone wanted to see the, his uh, rendition of Dune. Um, Video Girl AI would be another one. I'd like to see, because I'm, I'm pretty sure those DVDs go uh, go on forever. How's it going, Ivan? Uh, Disco Tech Day. Uh, they're going to be doing a bunch of announcements for uh, basically Boomer anime, somewhat getting licensed in North America slash more information. So I'm going to be watching it quasi like a direct in about these five guys minutes. Also had a license to like the old Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon. Yeah, exactly. Like, so so they they hinted. So they posted a screenshot of Captain N in the in the um in the Game Masters, and they said like, oh, something's coming. And I'm I'm almost tempted to say they're going to announce the um the Mega Man cartoon, Blu-ray. One with Guts Man's butt. 
Yeah, exactly. It's either it's okay. So it's either the North American Mega Man cartoon, or there 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 was like the Japanese like OVA. I'm Wasn't pretty there sure. There also a cartoon for Star Force or an anime for Star Force. I don't remember. I think so. But yeah, they, they, like they, they, one they've episode been... aired on Toonami, and then I never saw anything else of it because I think like most people restricted to like some online service or something. Yeah, I all I know is that like um um they've been dabbling more and more into like some cartoon stuff as well for licensing. Like uh, Sonic the Hedgehog was a big one, where I think they got I think they got both Sad AM as well as uh, the actual like Sonic the Animated Series. I think I, I owned Sonic, say, uh, so Sonic, that AM, how you say that, as, as like, a. Yeah, there was a Sonic DVD one somewhere. where they were, like, rock stars or whatever. Uh, <sighs> Sonic Underground. There you mother go. Will be found. Uh, yeah, their mother will be found, except for that never Only ever did. Western Sonic cartoon <laughs> Knuckles is in, by the way. Um, I mean, yeah. they also, um... Discotech also did uh, Samurai Pizza Cats as Samurai Pizza Cats on top of like some of the uh, actual original anime. Right. So I mean, yeah, okay. they they have, so they have the a worst they have a... version and the improved version. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Somebody call for some pepperoni. Yeah, it's uh, it's good stuff. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, see here, what's another one that would like just absolutely blow my mind if it um. Oh, I don't know. Do they have Pat Labor? Uh, no, that's already licensed, though. Is the thing. Ah. I think that's uh, Sentai, Sentai Filmworks. Uh, California Crisis. Sentai. I know. I know. There's been a big meme recently with like California Crisis, or at least in the past year or two, due to the whole like vaporwave slash like city pop aesthetic. Um, California Crisis. That's just living in California. <laughs> yeah, that's just we're living in an earthquake <laughs> and flood and fire zone. That's just trying to cross the street in L.A. Um, Imagine living on the West Coast. <laughs> uh, Wouldn't be me. I I know. Um, I'm trying to remember who got the. I think it was Funimation got the rights to Robotech or whatever because of the whole Harmony Gold v. Um, Sony v. Yeah. Um, but Macross proper. If Discotech somehow got like the the rights to Macross or like Southern Cross or any of the other spinoffs that was turned into Robotech and are actually releasing it proper. That'd be that blow my mind pretty good, and finally, um, Starship Troopers, the OVA done by Sunrise, would be would be great. Oh, and Disco Tech oh, also is like a wish list kind of thing, or like yeah, this is just kind of me. Like some of these are me, this is me. This is me spitballing. I, I think the Mega Man one is going to be legit because I, I can't see them doing Captain N because aside from aside from memes. That's not really like, that's not really liked by people, and by that I mean like I'm sure there's probably someone that likes it, but I don't think it would have the uh, same appeal to like put on a Blu-ray as like the Mega Man series. I mean, you could always just be get a hold of the Legend of Zelda cartoon and then hold it hostage for for Dobson to pay <laughs> for. He'll do Listen, it. Listen, they're not Harmony Gold, all right. <laughs> Andrew Dobson loves that cartoon apparently because he refuses to draw Link, Link with his actual <laughs> freaking hair color. Um, oh, and um, Discotech has the rights to City Hunter because I've I've paid way too much money to buy it all on Blu-ray. Um, so I don't know if people know, but there's a live-action City Hunter film that was made in France by the French. So aside from asking Duke to maybe go hunt me down a copy, there's no English subtitles on it. Um, if we could get a localization of the Nicky Larson, which is City Hunter in uh, France, that's what they call the series. Um, the Nicky Larson live action film with English subtitles. I'd, I'd, I'd buy that. I mean, aren't you guys Canadian? Just watch, just, just practice your French. I, dude, I, it's, it's not that simple. <laughs> it's not that easy. Oh right, you guys speak garbage French. Yeah, exactly. I forgot you got you. Know, I forgot you guys live. Where yeah, you live. I live. Uh, I live where they speak Shack. And if someone wants to uh, do the like the Google research, they can probably find out where I live now. But it's fine. I can't believe you just dox yourself. I know, right? They'll have to deal with Man. shitty French though. So I mean, it's really, it's really, <laughs> it's, it's really just going to be more painful for them to try to find me. And then... 
Yeah, true, true. It's 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 the perfect defense. Yeah, Nobody exactly. wants to get near the Francophone areas of, <laughs> of Canada. No one wants to get wants to go near the Acadians. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and that's why all the francophones in uh, Canada are all inbred. Yeah, exactly. Oh, here we go. Are they actually all inbred, or is that just a meme? That's just a meme. And the back. All right. It's a really mean meme. Ah, uh, my father was perfect. like an instance of some guy who found Quebec who founded it with like his harem of wives or something. Oh like no, that they're gonna get copyright struck. Ah. No, that's fine. Whatever. Oh no. It's fine, just talk over it. Yeah, exactly. As long as you're it's constantly trans talking transform transformative media. It's transformative media, and I... Yeah, whatever. I can transform Wait, this media into a media. I can transform this show. good show into a bad show. It's called Working at Rooster Teeth. Oh, so I, you, ha you handed it over to Japan? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm pretty sure that announcement's coming up soon, isn't it? Isn't it supposed to be like the 22nd or something like that, or 26th? Uh, I think it's the 26th or, or so, or yeah. like the 25th our time, and like 26th over in the old Japan. Ruby got killed. <laughs> Ruby no Jitsu. It can't be worse than Ruby. Can it, it really though? Can't. It really can. Man you, Not... man, you know how the modern anime scene is like. It can always get worse. Yeah, it could there's be... Occasional... Hold on. And there's always an occasional gem, you know? Yeah, like, um... uh, redo of healer and, uh... <laughs> Some of the first redo scenes I saw were on porn sites. I thought it was just, like, another hentai. And turns out it was, like, from redo or whatever. It's oh, just, shit. um... Yes, that's what it is. <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's, it's just hentai it's just with a budget, just my, it's, it's just, um... It's just a, uh... I wouldn't even say work save. I was just gonna say revision of rants. Yeah, like, uh... Looks like rants. He literally yeah, looks like rants. I know, it. right? Just make a rant. Like, if like if you made a lineup of, like, a Pokemon evolution, it'd be Kazuya, the redo of healer guy, and freaking rants. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Kazuma can take on the fucking Redo guy if he wanted to. I mean, <laughs> Kazuma is like a comedy character. Like, he, if it's funny, he, he'll find a way to win. Yeah, it's, exactly. it's, it's like Bugs Bunny. Like, Bugs Bunny beats everyone as long as it's funny. <laughs> that's, that's the next uh, death battle. It's going to be... Uh... Uh, the actual next death battle is Harley Quinn versus Jinx. Oh, no. Uh, what Jinx? I assume from Arcane? Uh, uh, Arcane. LOL, oh, LOL slash Arcane Jinx. I think it's composite. Got some Cat's Eye, which is a City Hunter spin I don't think city uh, spin Arcane Jinx does anything that LOL Jinx can't do. If anything, she's probably weaker, because for most of the show, she doesn't have a Jinx Eye as a thing. Loop in the third. Oh yeah, that's right. They um they're redubbing. I think Loop in the third part one and part two. I want to say. So I'll probably pick that up on Blu-ray. Oh heck yeah, dinosaur anime! Yeah man. Finally, actual Kino. Welcome to the Dino Zone. I can't believe they're copying a land before time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, Angel Cop's getting Listen, a steelbook. Listen, Chomper was a stone cold G. Just um, just don't uh, look too far into the uh, Angel Cop uh, Japanese version. It's pretty, Why? it's pretty, it's pretty based. It, it got in a lot of trouble um, coming stateside because uh, the guy was a very notorious quasi anti semite. <laughs> Oh hell yeah, tomorrow's Joe. Let's go. I thought Japan in general didn't like you or Give him the roll. Isn't that like the entire base for Attack on Titan? <laughs> it's like the entire no. world, BB. No! <laughs> Can't say that. What? But that yeah, the uh, Attack a Angel, on Titan guy improves um, the genocide? An Angel, uh, Angel, uh, Cop is, uh, pretty. Pretty rough. I mean, it was still a genocide even if he didn't kill everybody. <laughs> he still killed enough. All right. So, uh, he didn't assuming... kill enough. Should have gone for the last twenty percent. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. <laughs>
What is this? Fucking Atlas? Calm down, guys. <laughs> See what this is. So how long Let's until go. this degenerates until Iron Wood did nothing wrong? Yeah. That's what got all some, got some Astro Boy. Let's go. I watched the shit out of Astro Boy a long time ago. Yeah, man. Um, especially like the old '50s and '60s stuff. Oh yeah, it holds. What was the movie that was that came out in my lifetime? Oh, the um, like 3D CGI one or whatever. Yeah. That was actually not bad, and I know that people will probably like yell at me about that, but I thought it was pretty all right. I remember seeing it as like a teen. I thought it was pretty good. It, but like that's the only Astro Boy media I'm aware of that came out in my lifetime, so I figured out that. It's pretty good. I mean, um, Tezuka is pretty important, so preservation of this stuff is probably pretty important. Huge Disney fan and huge fur, if I remember correctly. Yeah, exactly. Therefore, he's important. I mean, furries are the actual capital of. of <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, furry, the world. Furries are the real. How 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 else do you th can you explain some guy ordering multiple five thousand dollar fur suits? They're they're the ones that run everything. They always tip excessively on commissions. Where do they get all that money if they're not running the world? Yeah, exactly. And uh, as usual, Mr. Man be like, this is strictly this is scary government. government. New license announcement, and this time it's Astro Boy, the 1980 oh, wow. remake of the original anime classic. Uh, this is going to be newly remastered in 1080p Sick. high definition. Right. Hell yeah. Uh, completely uncut in Japanese with the full episodes one and two, and it will also include the complete English dubbed version, which features a combined episodes one and two. Uh, just uh, for completeness sake, because uh, I know everyone is going to ask, this is the University of Wisconsin dub produced for Tezuka Pro. Wisconsin used to dub day. things? Uh, there was also a Canadian <laughs> dub that was made. Uh, that we, we are not able to offer that to you, but... Uh, other than that, let's go. Canada uh, excluded once again, package, the most oppressed group in the world. One of the classes. I mean, you have the best anime dub of all time in Black Lagoon. Hey now, not complaining. Don't don't, don't knock the ocean the dub of uh, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z. I mean, Scott McNeil is in. So good point. Scott McNeil is one of the greatest voice actors of our or any generation. Another record broken, and it's not just me. There's plenty of people here. I got kind of a, a you know, job. I'd imagine they just whip out Beast on, Wars. But, <laughs> I'd, I'd go absolutely that nuts. Except for, except for we'd have to call it Beasties in Canada, Canada again hey, for the everyone, official this, authentic this PowerPoint looks oddly experience. But it's, not. <laughs> it's festive. It's festive, I yes, tell you. Yes, festive. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm the CEO of Media OCD, which is the main production contractor for Discotech Media, and I'm basically in charge of making stuff happen and making sure the discs get made so mm -hmm. yeah and you can find him on twitter at just thanks Lucas. justin no that's not that's not my twitter oh you're right you're right <laughs> he's, he's world another crap. another mistake yes. literally just uh, i'm at world of crap mike was very sleep deprived when he put this together <laughs> We're going to go bother the other Justin Savakis. That's what's going to happen. Brady, oh, introduce no. yourself. Jesus. Hi, I'm Brady Hartle. And this is already going well, shows, I can tell. I'm a world with a paper airplane. Yeah, no, um, right um, out the bat with uh, 1980s remake Astro at Boy. Discotech Media. I can, uh, I'm down with uh, that. Artists, um, I yeah, that's, that's, uh, I know Astro Boy's kind of a big discs. deal. He's kind of the he's inspiration for a million and a half robot um, characters in anime. Hell yeah. And beyond anime. Remember Penny. Yeah. God rest your soul. And uh, we're usually a trio, but once again, we are a quintet. Uh, who's who's next in the lineup? Say hi. Hello, Actually, I who, am um, David. There's only I am four images. Also How are they a for Discotech Discs. Um, I mainly help Justin with all the projects, and I author most of the discs nowadays. Who has the right. Um, to... And I am the two mountains. Uh, Metropolis. I really like. I really like that. The that team. you know this whole. Yeah. You know, this whole... Like, uh, I assume it's Somniac, kind of yeah, because we're, that's we're the name of the city. And, that's the idea. In <laughs> games at this point. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Very funny, BB. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you can find me at Dubu David on Twitter, uh, and that is that's I. That's the race awesome. licensing race. Uh, my name is Mike Tool, and I'm a rock. <laughs> I guess that's some kind of diamond or something. Uh, I'm an associate producer. I do, uh, you know, copywriting and some other odd jobs for Discotech. Uh, what, what I've been doing a lot of is just these events. Uh, both online and offline, and uh, you can find me 
on Twitter at Michael Tool. Now, before we get into that's the wrong the, uh, Justin. No. The presentation, um, always nice to leave. Who did the steel work for Metropolis? Disco Tech Media. Uh, if, if you didn't already know, uh, Disco Tech Media is a boutique home video company based in Florida. Uh, they specialize in Japanese animation, classic anime, new stuff, and brand new cutting edge releases. Uh, as of a couple of years ago, we release physical media exclusively on Blu-ray, UHD, and standard def on Blu-ray. That's our format of choice. And uh, if you're yeah, not man. a big collector and you prefer to watch, how's it going, Dorian? And find our stuff. It's been a while. Crunchyroll, principally, we have over a hundred titles there. You can also find. Uh, also find us on uh, Milk Prime Prime What's, what's UHD and SB, SD? Uh, SD uh, ultra high. De well, actually, I IT. Our local IT so, expert. Uh, let's, it's time to get excited for all of you. Okay, UHD now, is ultra high definition, basically 4K. We have uh, SD standard is, definition. Uh, is but uh, these are, these aren't being actually and remastered and in UHD, are they? That's kind of weird. Usually HD. That's oh, Symphony Gear. And the second season. These. I will be happy. Yeah. Why, why, like, what on earth could we be, we be um, talking about? Uh, uh, they've done a couple of UHD releases. Unless... I guess if it's if it was like made of... lesbians, they're they're not lesbians. They strongly imply they're lesbians. Okay. The release... it's so you're saying it's a good funny. series. Don't, don't then. think too hard about it. Don't think too hard about it. Wonderful Musical I mean, if I wanted to think, think I wouldn't watch anime. Uh, ladies are back. They defend the earth with the weapons of the gods and hot pop music. Great stuff. Uh, this is the complete 2015 series. 2015? That's way too uh, recent for me. With English subtitles. And there's a ton of extras on this one. We got Omake. That's not what I'm here uh, for. Opening and ending with no oh, problem. fucking Zoomer stuff. I know, right? All kinds hey, of good stuff. At Catra, you can't support the company solely by buying and take every Boomer and, release. Uh, I, I, I can watch, watch. I'll buy multiple. <laughs> Oh, no. I'll start handing them out on the street. On the first person that <laughs> first person that doxes me and actually comes to find me, I'll just hand them a copy of Loop in the Third or something like that. You're right. That's something that uh, that we hold, 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 hold them hold them at gunpoint. Like this is Jehovah's it. Witness, except for Boomerang. He's gonna knock on people's door instead of offering people a Bible or like a thing. He's just gonna offer yeah, Boomerang. <laughs> Have you heard of our Lord and Savior Armorage Three? The songs in particular. Just starts giving away, laughing away like thirty copies. I used to burn. Listen, uh, though. On the song I used to burn Spotlight anime on DVDs. I'll do it again. Rainbow, and uh, that, that's a that's a trick that uh, back when Logan a terabyte cost like two hundred bucks. Put together over the years, and uh, I it cost now. Oh, you can probably get like two terabytes for sixty. Before, so hey, we'll take it. Hey, yeah. IT, our local IT guy. How much is a terabyte? <laughs> That is totally it's it's so cheap it's not even worth buying one terabyte hard drives because the actual also, physical so cost of making the hard drive is just cheaper to buy like a four terabyte or something packed, <laughs> packed with stuff. like price yeah, per terabyte to, uh, the i think you get a four you terabyte with like all those terabytes anyway. run a plex yes. server hey it but how big's your plex hard. server yeah, honestly with uh 1080 uh, you know, i think i'm cracking 30 terabytes of stuff right now Third plex, but okay. Continue moving on. Uh, that's Simpho Gear, and uh, next we're going to talk about steel books a little bit, uh, because people. Oh heck yeah! This is just collectors like items. Presentations in school. In Same really kind of uh, design choice really philosophy like in their PowerPoints. Steel books, and, and we're no! in the game now. Uh, if you were at our last <laughs> panel, you, you'll remember. Amazing. The very first steel book release. There will never uh, ever be a season the, three. Uh, stores now. I think that's uh, either either. Season three eventually. Yeah. They, they made a movie, and the movie yeah, was the movie incredibly recently, successful. Uh, as much as I clown on Konosuba, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad it's at least getting a decent release. Shortly in uh, in a month or two. But uh, perhaps the only good sure thing you can be known for. Oh, Angel Cop. That's what it says. But what is going to be the next steelbook? Well, let's let's look at a clip that you may recognize. A uh, another classic. Oh boy, here we go. Guess, Gunbuster. Discotech Media's third steelbook. Oh, oh no! Let's go. Okay. This speed racer. No. <laughs> Armin San Diego. No. <laughs> If I remember correctly, I think this is Project Iron. Bastard. All right, and that. Uh, oh wow. Clip kind of That's a. Uh, but uh, yes. You can see oh no, sorry. I'm I'm video, I'm a big idiot. Yeah, it's Cyber City from Madhouse, and it's coming to Steelbook. Now I saw someone asking in the chat 
is this an HD rescan? Because not too long ago, we released this on Blu-ray, and it was an upscale. Wow. Man, I can tell how this 80s is this wall, is. A brand new 2K scan, and who is in charge of it? Mr. Kawajiri, the director. So this is, uh, this is going to be in Japanese with subtitles, and with two different mixes of the dub. One featuring the original Japanese uh, background music, and one with the highly sought out i am reason. glad i didn't pull the trigger on i literally have uh cyber city in my cart right now on right stuff waiting for my bonus i'm glad i didn't pull the trigger on that because i'm just gonna get this one instead producers you got anything to say about this one another a brand a brand new 2k scan let's go this and angel cop that i was just like you know we we did the best we could with the materials we had just dub xenoblade when it came out i was just like oh I really wish. Give, give them the British really Xenoblade. And then my wish came true. Uh, this is this looks phenomenal. It looks every bit as good as also, Angel Cop. Also, I guess and all of Aiko Final Fantasy all of the other the uh, British treasures from the vault, are dubbed as we have UK been discovering well. lately. Um, we worked with Madhouse to make this happen, and Madhouse is like, "Well, Kawajiri insists on on supervising this." We're like, oh, "Okay, yeah. so." That just happened, and we're pretty happy with it. And you can see all those amazing uh, blue cityscapes in all all the amazing detail in this one. It's definitely worth uh, double dipping for, in my opinion. Yeah, razor sharp. One one feature from the previous release that uh, I'm, th I'm figuring is on this is that there is a commentary track with uh, Mr. Kawajiri and Mr. Matayama. The so they actually worked with Madhouse well, probably to get the yeah, yeah, and the commentary track. They, they get the really actual film on, uh, yeah. commentary. Yeah. Kawajiri's films are so popular in the West. They're, uh, they're, you know, they're fascinated by that. But uh, we all know why. This stuff is amazing. So that's, uh, that's Cyber City OEDO, and that's, uh, that's Steelbook number three coming soon from Discotech Media. And next, we're gonna we're gonna check in on a rare dub that we've talked a lot about before, but and we're almost there. We're almost there, so we're gonna tease you one more time. Hell yeah, Moncoli Knights, let's go! Oh wow, some small part of my brain still remembers this. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I remember this. Oh, who played this? Cartoon Network? Uh, for us, it was YTV. The that was big the white only North. thing that played anything for us. <laughs> <laughs> was it what? Is yeah, YTV it was YTV. the only channel in Canada for children? Fuck. No, you got Cartoon Network as well. <laughs> it was either it was either Cartoon Network or it was JetX that played this show. Yeah. I can't remember which one it was. Yeah, mm, but I remember the cool anime show. stuff. Oh, man. Mostly Digimon. God, I love Digimon. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, though, this is um, only the English version of it. Much like the um, Metabot release that they did. So, the better version. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell weebs that. No. We'll no, all dubs are bad. Mouth. I hate dubs. Says, I mean, says I'll just spent... say whatever. Everything I say is a calculated move to irritate as many weeds. Yeah, possible. exactly. The only thing I, I think I, I say that weebs don't hate is that Ruby isn't an anime. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I hate anime and I hate dubs, says man who imported $1,000 worth of Gundam media to specifically get the English dubs. So yeah, look look who's right around the corner. I can only watch in whatever audio I'm exposed to first. <laughs> <it's the other laughs> one then it's just engraved. Oh, done by Salmon. Broadcast master title card. This is exactly, not something yeah. that makes it on so the, the video. The, uh, so those are the people who did Digimon. But I thought yeah. you might like a peek at that. God, Saban International. Yeah, Saban Digimon. I thought um. The uh, the single episode. Oh no. Character. I was gonna say I thought Saban was still under. I thought Saban was still under um Disney, but that that ended a long time ago. Because it only aired. I guess it had to. I know Disney got a hold of Digimon did, for a while because it was not airing on Jetix for a bit. Yeah. yeah, this is finally almost ready. No, when Jetix was still a two, thing. Yeah, that was one of the two lost episodes, but all 46 episodes. I know people dubbed, people complain dubbed, about um. Wherever you have. Oh hey, it, it was on Jetix and, and Fox clips, Kids. And that is coming. The Fox in Box. Okay. That is, uh, that's pretty firm. That's cool. that's right Fox Box. Finally here. Um, and and anything to say about this one, guys? I know people complain about oh, SD boy. on blue di this takes SD some on BD yeah. a lot, but <laughs> like, I'm fine I with think it. Everybody on Team better than actually buying Blu-rays and holds like, more episodes per disc, like which brings the cost down. 
uh, figuring out how to get them. It's still gonna the sell, make, to make you pay an arm and a leg for it. Uh, like, no, not really. Pay. Um, like the Metabot. Japan does. Yeah, well, Japan does, does yeah. Drive. It was amazing. Well, I mean, that's usually why, um, why, if I remember correctly, because there's, like, the whole, most of the licenses have the whole thing to prevent their, like, reverse importing. We were able to get the Masters and that they were in, so, like, as good a condition. That, that's usually why stuff like this yeah, only gets released I mean, in English there's dubs. A lot of just issues it's with probably because like they don't want it how being it always made that imported because between how north america and japan, japan share, era, share the same region were adapted here uh so you know it's not the cleanest that, looking show by today's standards but hey that's why it's uh sd on blu-ray and uh and also things I at a reasonable price so people will actually buy it yeah exactly uh, what do you mean uh, um those you don't uh post captioning these days uh you don't enjoy captions. paying 150 dollars for a single vhs what's wrong with you quality and there's no like burned Fox Seem like uh, it's several hundred no, dollars no to Fox each bugs, to yeah. buy like That's four right. episodes yeah, of Madoka. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, you guys I, get all maybe not that much, show, but it's you know, pretty close. I know. Um, previously lost, so I know the like um, plus dollars for like a third um, of the show, which is yeah. ridiculous. I know um, the complete. Um, Definitely a favorite of mine. Uh, what is it? Continue on the tack. Uh, samurai, uh, samurai warriors. I think uh, samurai troopers. We're, we're just going to touch on um, the complete box set in Japan was like five hundred and fifty dollars. Oh boy, here we go. This is what I. This is this is it. This is what I was waiting for. Do we have anything on Gub Gubnuster? Gubnuster. Uh, well, <laughs> Never. We're, we're in the thick of this one, and we're kind of in a spot where we we, we don't have anything that's ready to show. No. Up, but we've we've. Uh, How could you? <laughs> How could you? Unbelievable. <laughs> It's happening. I can't believe Catra is going to really burn all his disco tech media. That's it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna <laughs> get the, I mean, I'm gonna get going the to make bonfire going right now. The DVDs and then he's going to smash Any, something. Anything to say about that at all, Brady? Well, uh, I guess the, no, since they're not no, a whole I mean, lot to say. say they're starting to dub episode four. the The main reason I don't really, really have, uh, yeah, I, the main reason I don't have any clips though is they're recording Noriko last. So. Yeah, um, old Aniplex her, prices. Her, yeah, like, that's her stuff right. isn't done yet. So, like, I don't... Like, yeah, Aniplex. Like, I don't, like, it's, I I'm don't, pretty I, sure they sell Karen no Kyokai for, like, a zillion um, dollars as well. Though, so, um, Aniplex... Though, though, yeah, exactly. It's morally correct to pirate. Load up them torrents, boys. We're going back to the mid-2000s. Um, I will. Remember, I will say though, uh, for Aniplex, uh, um, I did end up buying all of Brotherhood oh, when that was nineties. Hell yeah! These were announced last time, but uh, we'll see what else there is. Um, but Aniplex, they, they sold Brotherhood on Blu-ray for I want to say it was like thirty dollars for twelve episodes or something like that. I know Brady worked hard. Maybe forty dollars. That's reasonable. Yeah, that was that was actually decent. It was like five sets or something like that. So I mean, I still ended up paying too much money for that that i would consider but it was hey, more money than you want oh no oh no all right oh, all right Lord. all right boys nice. cadillacs and dinosaurs coming right up and if you don't know what that is google it it exists it's a cartoon <laughs> hell yeah gotta get that double dragon I mean, it's better than the movie, at least. <laughs> well, I mean, we all know video game that involve fighting people. Pe movies peaked with either Street Fighter the movie or Mortal Kombat. Man, Mortal Kombat was such a such a good good movie. It was campy as hell, but it that's kind of what you wanted with something like that. Campy does not mean bad. No, campy, campy's amazing, and I wish more people embraced the camp at times. Oh man, that is, that is. We need more stuff. Raimi's in this but world. Yeah, we, are, yeah, we uh, need more we Sam Raimi. The double dragon. Just uh, with Andy a little series. bit of filter. <laughs> <too. laughs> can't uh, let him, can't <laughs> let him get away with what he did in uh, the Spider-Man <laughs> series. Pick up the phone <laughs> when you're evil, evil Peter Parker, and say Shalom. How did he get away with it? Twenty-six episodes. <laughs> I mean, I can't believe days. that uh, that in Multiverse of Madness that um, uh, Doctor Strange <laughs> made fun of Wanda for her uh, uh, Romani heritage. <laughs> so, um, I oh my god, heard 
the materials for this. He's not Romani in the comments uh, anymore. I think so she might not be. Uh, God knows they've retconned Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver's parents like, like a three and a half times by now. I'm pretty um, sure. Probably. I mean, the beginning of one of the bunch of stuff. Not even those kids anymore. I'm pretty sure. Video promoting Double Dragon Five, which is the Double Dragon game that's based off of this cartoon. Um, I mean, they retcon like Don Cheadle like, as like War Machines. So I mean. <laughs> uh, or, or, sorry, uh, uh, like, technical, like, how to play the game thing that uh, was made for this cartoon in that game. So we were able Because to he asked for more money. Um, I think so, probably. Money. It's really fun. Yeah. Uh, it's got that or, um... I, I haven't looked, I haven't looked right into it, but I also heard that, money. like... <laughs> His I agent mean, said silly, not to, silly. like, I love yeah. the design. either ask for more money or, like, his agent said, like, this thing won't last or whatever. Like, so, that's, like, that's, that's take, <laughs> take, 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 <laughs> take this other project instead or something like that. This yeah. Really it's... And here we are. Yeah. Phoning it in. Going it through the motion with an artificial grin. Sort of different order, episode order than what you might be used to. Um, we when we were looking uh, at the, uh, the episodes, we realized that there are a lot of weird uh continuity issues with how we received the episodes so we came up with our own um you know order that we think makes more sense um as you watch oh yeah so uh, make it up as you all right so what is the correct order to watch all right boys i'm gonna i'm gonna need the animated series i'm gonna need a team to be able to solve this we did it for harui (laughs) exactly we solved we solved the equation for haruhi um we can we can solve the double dragon equation get me a crack team of scientists we're gonna have to figure out the optimal watch order definitive way to watch it um when we when it gets out for a number round oh, i should mention uh, RNG, i should mention you know? <laughs> nights we had to do that do that as well i think that's were, the best way to figure you know, it out back to episodes that hadn't aired yet in the in the broadcast or uh, what, what did it so say the best way to figure out was around a bit to make that work rng so, rng just uh, just randomized it like, uh rife with you know like, what it might oh, work this is gonna rate better so we'll probably make as much sense as the plot of the video games right yeah that was just children's cartoons back then um, so so let's let's take a closer look at the packaging. Uh, this this is one of yours, right, Brady? I love the tagline. Oh yeah, <laughs> I really I leaned heavily. I'll never have to the, search original, online to watch Double, Double Dragon, Dragon again. Box, so God bless this, you, let's Disco let's Tech, for you that tongue and cheat um, bastards. This is a really cool series, and I'm glad we were able to put it out and give it a little. Invincible! More. I can't believe um, also, someone's going to get slammed face into that, a train uh, in this. Was, uh, <laughs> oh wait, it's based on beat him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It's just one of the leads, and you've got uh, what's his got, uh, name? got a life expectancy of one spawn screen. A Jim Burns. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Inferno and just Jesus. scroll it. So, yeah, hey. just, uh, just walk past and scroll it. Style. And if you go to the disc as well, um, yeah. it's literally like m- one of my own NAS games. <laughs> <It's in scans. laughs> oh, that's the, cute. The surrounding that's cute. portion of it, but yeah, we we really tried to lean into the the uh, the game aspect of it, and uh, I think it came out really good. Um, our our friend, our, our artist Black, she uh, restored all this. See, this is this is why Disco Tech is a great company to support. I'm not getting paid to say that, by the way. I'm, I legitimately have given. Yeah, them- we already know you're employed by another anime. Thing. Yeah, exactly. Euro Studios or something. I, l- I like the. Uh, I also like the the Trade West logo font for Eastern Star. They though. can't have you moonlight. Oh, I, they have I you in an, so, an so incomplete. So not to be able to figure that out. Like, they have me tied like, to a chair. I, was, I, was like, oh, I, I mean, I can believe you're running yeah. this totally and from a chair. The Discotech logo, uh, you know, we that was on the Mega Man set we did before, and I was like, mm-hmm. we should revisit this and bring it oh, back. Oh, for sure. So. All right, Again, so next up is 100% going to be, be Berserk 97. Uh, just what, just, what, just wait and see, guys, I believe. Double Dragon. Song is so stuck in Here's how head. Berserk 97 <laughs> can still show up on this stream. Yeah, this is this is it's gonna be me doing Charlie Day with a big bunch of string attached uh, going all over the pra- going all over the place. And uh, moving on, it's time for for the fabled uh, vehicle uh, from panels past, the license rescue vehicle, because we're gonna be announcing some stuff that uh, that has come. It's out totally the legit before, and a real thing, by the way. It back all right, let's see what they're rescuing. Let's see what um. So you know what series I would actually like to see rescued? I don't, I'm actually not sure. I should look into it, but um. Get away from here. Oh baby. Huh. I 
just had one episode of this. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember. I actually, I actually vaguely remember seeing this OP before when my friends were watching videos on YouTube. I don't remember the name of the show, but I remember this. Yeah, it was another show that was featured on one of the main American channels. I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, I like Rule of Three to this show, and I just wasn't vibing with it by three. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure the fans will be happy. Yeah. I mean, I'm just happy to see any, um... Kikai. That's what it was. Yeah, that's right. Right. All right I'm, I'm just uh, glad to see, like, course. any show that ends up in, like, licensing Very hell, um, is coming, get a, uh, a get a renewal. Real Blu-ray. Uh, we, we had previously announced that we had gotten the rights to this. Oh, it came to Crunchyroll last Crunchy year? Roll, but it's finally huh. coming to Which, I mean, it came to Sony? This is an upscale, but as you saw from the trailer, a pretty sweet upscale, looking good in high def. And uh, so when are we just gonna from, stop pretending that Funimation and Crunchyroll are their own thing and just say Sony? Kodama, just say Sony Entertainment, yeah, Aniplex. City Hunter and Detective Conan series. Aniplex is owned by Sony too. I'm pretty sure. This was a Last I looked, Jesus Christ. Let me do a quick. How do they not? Let me, let me do a do a quick by the Monopoly, Google please. Subtitles and the dub. We do a quick Google I'm foo. I'm pretty sure they're... Yeah, founders. Uh, Aniplex is specifically founded by Sony. In English and a bonus interview with, uh, with Mr. Sue so, and, and Kodama. But there, now, there Justin, you go. Is something that you had to dig out from the archives? I saw in the notes this interview. Uh, yeah, actually, the... I We shot this uh, at Otakon, was it, like, 15, 10, 15 years ago? I'm trying uh, to think of what Anime else, News like, Network. oh, uh, what yeah. else, um, the uh, one I series I would like the, to see uh, rescued file in my closet. is, um, was that, was that we were the one that was done by the uh, Death Note duo, duo after Death Note was done, uh, <laughs> I uh think Bakuman, been, or not was, Bakuman, Bakuman, or whatever, shot this the one about making, the one with the balls, or some shit. no, no, that's that, Bak the one with the weird homophobic rants, no, no, it was the one about, um, it was the one about making manga, oh, um, it was, um, I actually have the DVD on my shelf. It, it had and, uh, the first six episodes got, dubbed we in English by Anime Works, but then Anime Works shapes, went bankrupt, so because that's when, like, ADV magic, and, like, a whole bunch of other things really, went really bankrupt during, like, the, it, um, it, it the 2008 Four economy. Four Kids was, so what, was an underappreciated... <laughs> you get your, you get your heresy out of here, BB. Actually, um, one thing I will give Four Kids is that, uh, I'm gonna get... What what the One Piece opening by, by Four way, Kids that, um, still slaps? Awesome, just one hundred percent slaps. It's actually an insert song. It's not an opening, but um, our, our I don't care what anyone uh, says. Caleb that that pirate song. rat. To make a, make that's a banger. That I'd put I'd plug that into yes, the aux cord this, and blast uh, that downtown. That I feel like people don't. Know and I I still say the Yu Gi Oh dub is is amazing. I noticed that too. Like GX. Same. They never finished Yu Gi Oh GX on Adult Swim, but so mad. Power Stone was pretty fun as well. After a few years. So I'm glad to be uh, bringing it back. This uh, disc also includes some cleaned up subtitles, some stuff that wasn't translated previously, like the songs. Uh, some songs were translated newly. Uh, or I should say transcribed because a lot of the songs are in English, but they're like in such an English that it's kind of difficult to uh, understand them. Ah, English. So uh, I dug up the lyrics oh, for yes. some that that's I my could favorite find. Language. And I, uh, that's my, and I, yeah, and that's my favorite Logan official and, uh, language. We put them back the together. The song of my people. Um, but yeah, this was a hey, great man, I played project through, for me too. It was the first I played disc through that all I, of that I did from Rad. Scratch, you know? And that's got some like great I, English. I upscaled it. Uh, and then I did all Robot Alchemic Drive for the PS2. You say you had a pretty um, rad time? And I had a pretty rad time, time with Rad, one. yeah. With all the, that's a you know, that the that is that is a game that they just really grabbed great, whoever really could speak English in the Japanese office to voice act it. It's great. Cool. Okay. Well, um, that, that's uh, that's Kikai That's Kikai how Kikai things were meant to be yeah, dubbed. If you think about it. <laughs> it's like um, it's not quite Metal Wolf Chaos, but it's pretty great at I mean, times. Metal Wolf Chaos English is immaculate. Yeah. I, Richard Hawk, will uphold American justice. I mean. English is way too good. It's way too good for what it should be. Also, that's the exact depiction of America that that should exist. <laughs> that is the. You may not like it, but this is what ideal America looks like. 
I mean, isn't it? The world not be better if the president had a mecca? <laughs> All right, so that that is uh, as as people in the chat were quick to notice. Uh, Fuse memoirs of the hunter girl, and uh, that had previously come out on video from another publisher. We're bringing it back, and this is a uh, big time historical fantasy film. Coming back to home video in high Who originally had This that? is a new encode, oh, right? Is guys? that... What can you tell us about that? I want to actually Google that well, right now. Who formerly had that? That could have been uh, Media Park or whatever it was. Um, Central Media. So I, this is a little bit of a mulligan for me. We get to... Because if that's it, the but, case, um, if they're picking up Central Media we, uh, titles my, after Central Media closed down, there's some there's a big here, list so of anime from there I've that done. they can pull from. The The film is really really gorgeous although i have to warn you it is really bloody uh particularly oh, against animal-esque uh characters so be forewarned mm -hmm. oh Brian's against that animals that uh, uh, but yeah I'm it's, really, no. it's, it's really a pretty film i'm glad glad we're bringing Media. it back oh, it fault, I, like I would be surprised animals. if it wasn't violent there's going to be trailers and nis america uh, and licensed it apparently. Coming later in yep. 2022. Uh, huh. So, uh, we I didn't know NS NIS was doing um, now, what? Now you may anime asking, publishing. Hey Mike, when you go to the stock photo website and type in upgrade, it shows how much I pay. They had gone on a hold point. of the trails <laughs> in the <laughs> sky. Be, because Dumb. in this next section, if we're going to be talking about some stuff that we previously released on home video. <laughs> But are now going to upgrade. There's some. There's this some is also another area that I'm excited to, because again, like, there's a whole bunch of like uh, shows that are like DVD only that they released. Hell yeah! Gotta get that oh, Devil Man, Man baby. The Boom Man. No, that's not Devil Man, baby. This is other Devil no! Man. <laughs> <laughs> they um they also did um the uh, the OVA which has the glorious English dub a little bit ago so I'm I'm not too surprised by this because I'm assuming this is the uh, TV series. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's good stuff. Should I take my shoes off? I don't give a shit. Yeah, it's, it's great. <laughs> I would also recommend uh, for anyone watching, um, pick up a Blu-ray copy of the Devil Man OVA from them. It's good. Jeez, that poor snake. Love me, my Devil Man. Let's go. Let's go with that. Uh, but I was saying, like some stuff they released in the past, which they could um, do good Blu-ray upgrades for, would be, uh, like I said before, Golden Boy was one I was kind of looking forward to seeing if they did it. Area 88, personal favorite of mine. Man, I've watched this whole OP and there's no blonde gay dude. Listen, listen, listen. Is he a new addition or something? I don't know. No, he's, he's always yeah. been there. Uh, the, the, the TV, like ser the TV man, series yeah. kind of differs uh, greatly from the Go Nagai original. Coming so. to Blu-ray. Ah, I see. It's it more of a, um, I'm pretty sure it was more like a Monster of the Week type from, thing. Uh, from Go Nagai. And Toei Animation from way back in the 70s. We're bringing it to Blu-ray, and uh, this is a this is an upscale uh, that that came from the Japanese Blu-ray master. So 1080p video. Oh God! I just Fire realized Salamance is Devil Man. Subtitles. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you're, if you're yeah, he's uh, he's, he's literally a Devil Man reference. <laughs> baby, this is the uh, the original. Uh, it has the same apocalypse. Like I didn't B think BB about finally it, but realizes. Like, if you look at the wings and like look at Sans, it's like, yeah. oh. BB finally realizes that a Pokemon is a reference to Devil Man. And uh, other extras. Where were you, you on this You think I've known day? about Japanese cartoons and manga and other stuff to notice what things Pokemon are referencing? Yes. <laughs> I think I am some kind uh, of weeb. Well, it's yeah. no, it's. Well, I, I, I just figured um, upscale that, you would just um, sit on Bulbapedia Mark, all day. Mark, Mark QC, who's doing our QC right now, he's also doing our. I don't believe uh, that. Much. <laughs> I don't think Bulbapedia mentions it. Like, I mean, I can look it up, but I don't think it will mention like, that. Wait, this is an upscale. I'm like, you're watching this right now. <laughs> so I'll probably, I'll probably pass really on this. Seventy uh, seventies TV anime. I've tried to get into it. Mark is. It's it's pretty pretty niche. Um. 
he like was, even even yeah. Lupin Part One, as much I as I love yeah, Lupin the Third, like Lupin Part One's still pretty this one because I've seen pretty iffy to get into. Surprised that it's also an it's pretty horny really. though. So um, if, you, if you're into it like helps that it was shot classic on etchy millimeter, so um, all the lines <laughs> I mean, really etchy crisp, has been and always will be a you know, mistake. You know, it has that really thick kind of line. I didn't say that because Collie's not here to to yell at you. And, and call yeah, me problem. Terms are also a mistake. Um, we're glad to be bringing it. And um, our you know, character writing poison. Anyone who disagrees it, so. needs to stop thinking with their lower head. Always a good thing. <laughs> so there's, there's another shot to, uh, to to throw in your photo album. And uh, this next one, uh, this the, the clip that I was supplied, uh, led me to to put this warning up front. Oh, golden boy, let's go. We're all adults, you're right. Ryan's not here. Ryan's not here. Not legally. I mean, we're not legally technically, liable technically, for Ryan's somebody. an adult now. Who's so, uh, so not? His birthday's in May. Oh, God shit. Where the hell is uh, oh, no. Okay. Shit. Hell yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it. Shit. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we went with that, but the important thing is that was... Violence Jack, Jack, a classic. OVA, An and boy, absolute one notable. banger. Holy Jack. shit. This is another one that is from the vault. Oh, this Brand one... Zooey Mama. Get on. So that... <laughs> oh, <laughs> woo! Uh, um... Actually, uh, there's a lot of really. Gr <laughs> there's a lot of, as the name implies, a lot of violence. Um, okay, a lot, a so, lot of nudity. Uh, for those who a lot of gore. Know, violence Jack is a Devil Man spinoff that was. It's. I think it's the most violent and gory anime ever made. Uh, it's actually. I'm cool with most of more it. violent than that one, one where the kid gets his head blown right? off what is that uh Ideon, Ideon space that. runaway yes. Ideon, which i also own on blu-ray um thanks made this in is, japan this is um firmly in hand but territory. yeah no violence jack is uh a it whole a lot, uh, whole other is, level uh, my friend it, it is this is this is like plus, so when people say like forward, the gore era of like OVAs uh, and stuff like that. Yeah. Like this is uh, like Mortal Kombat fatality kind of shenanigans. So uh, a little bit, a little bit uh, higher. So it's a it's a, also YouTube like, um, oh, they even got the uncensored version. The, Hell yeah! Uh, okay, yeah, that, a, this is a pickup. So a guy when um just the biggest when they originally the released it, and do my production work for me on this one, and uh, he noted that them. the original uh masters of of episodes two and three had artificial video letterboxing applied to the video master but we got the full negative scan of this so we decided Ooh. to release those two episodes in both uh in in both four by three and 16 by nine and also for the first time there is no censorship mosaic this is completely 100 percent uncensored for the first time ever seen Hell yeah! Okay, this is a day one pickup so for I'm me. I'm guessing there's sex involved. There was uh, there's a lot of um, Roadblock, so that's really sex implies that it's consensual. That we found that version. Oh, <laughs> you see, uh, every scrap of it. Um, uh, yeah, the if I remember correctly, the original DVD releases they had uh, released years ago. That's been out of print for a long time. Um, last time I looked it up, uh, I think the all like to get all get all three OVA episodes or whatever on DVD. The, from their original release in a, in the was like pushing $150 Canadian. Spent, it was like $50 a disc. College years editing trailers for hentai, um, but the uh, the version uh, of the show that so they got at the time was the censored version uh, from you Japan. Know, curious, so they just uh, ran with that. Point, yeah. Uh, that, that's that's going to be included as an extra. As well as, uh, yeah. the, the credit roll from the original manga entertainment VHS dub. That's very valuable. Which was which was heavily edited, by the way. Mm -hmm. And and a retake. Oh, I'm sure it was heavily edited. It's what of, like, fashion is trying to me. It's uh... scenes and animation because they don't like to they don't like to waste that. But yeah, this is uh. Footage and then not use this it. is uh this is this is something up my alley uh, for being a complete degenerate from the vault from discotech. Um, uh, what someone, do you mean? As someone... up your alley for a complete degenerate. I didn't see a single robot in <laughs> any of this. As, as someone who has a signed copy of Mad Bull Thirty Four. <laughs> This is right up my alley. <laughs> yeah, this this next one uh, has been a long time coming. I feel like you in particular, Brady, have, have quietly been dropping hints about this for many panels for a few years. But oh boy, we'll here we trailer. go. Oh hell yeah. Give him the D, baby. Hell, absolutely hell yeah.
Oh no, it's uh, Darkstalkers. The dark shall be with us always. I would crush you in the moon herself. Oh god, is this the one where Morgan is freaking hideous? Is that uh, the American cartoon? Uh, no, um... It's the good one. I was hoping yeah, those vampires. Darkstalkers is really coming back. Yeah, man. It's got that re release on that Capcom thing that's happening. It's got. No, this is the um, this is the good one. This isn't the North American cartoon. I think this is the uh, OVA series. Your curiosity may prove your greatest mistake. Well, it's got Japanese names, so I assume it's the Japanese version. Yeah. I was um, part of me was somewhat hoping it was a uh, Vampire Hunter D. Why isn't Jetta purple then? Oh, well, it's Jetta at the start, right? Who busted out of the coffin. Yeah. Uh, pretty sure he's always been that. But it could be just uh, to show the contrast. I mean, in the video game, he's like blue or purple or yeah. something. At least he is in Cap Marvel's Capcom Infinite, but you know. It might just he be. might just not be acknowledging Marvel's Capcom Infinite. <laughs> it also could be um, uh, from a production side. Like, if it was, if it was blue. It might blend in yeah. too much with the backgrounds and whatnot. Hey, there's Felicia. Yeah. I am a Everyone, the, their mother's favorite cat girl. And I make it my vow that I will rid this world of the dark. Yeah, the OVA collection. Let's go. I'm down with that. Not bad. Glad the Dark Stalker fandom is getting some. <laughs> After 20 years. Dark right. Stalker, turn dead, baby. I mean, on can you? Can you? Like, Morgan keeps showing up in every crossover so fighting game. She's <laughs> never Dark getting Stalker a new game. Tell us about never, this. ever. What do, we, what do we got in store for us? Okay, so uh, this is an upscale, but it's uh, like Devil Man, like, very hard to tell. I would say it's an upscale. Um, we we did some really good uh, AI she upscale. Pretty she sure they have been with Hunter D. And, um, if you know this show, you'll know the first episode has a lot of uh, composite shots, and those shots... Uh, uh, actually, David's friends um, uh, hey, hey, helped me uh, get those yes. uh, up to snuff with the rest of it shot. too, uh, or at least really close, so it doesn't. <laughs> it's not as jarring. Um, um, it uh, this was this is one way of those ones where it was kind of like explain it. Uh, shot on film, but heavily edited on video. So even if we were able to find the film, I'm not sure what state it would be in because they did a lot of stuff where they were like. Oh hey, we need this person to talk a really, really so, long time. Do you know so we're just kind gonna, like, of? Frames around uh, and, I'm like, trying to think of a way to like explain of, it. Um, like um, there's a lot of like uh, Lupin it's, part it, one. It's layering. A lot of uh, freeze frame uh, green. So I ended up. Is the best to way to like frame it? So you have like the background, the grain moved and then the next layer, and then stuff like that, and then the next layer, up, um, and the next layer for like. I think one of the people on our Twitter are talking about drawing. They were like, "Oh, remember all that layers?" Yeah. We'll yeah. Freeze frame uh, this dot right here over this damage, and so like in the, the middle Shrek of the shot, of artistry. Like, there'll be all this grain and like this one like big blob of like a freeze frame. So uh, we we fixed as much of that as we we could. And, uh, Parfait I think it, of visual arts. I think it looks arts. good. Uh, I, I I'm a little too close to it, but I think it looks good. The onion of animation. Uh, four episode series with with the Japanese language and the dub. Nice. And yeah, we've got. Is... Go ahead. Oh, so we've got um, the English dub. We were able to find the original, um, original, original um, audio tracks for that from Ocean. So the right. Ocean, my boys, huh? yeah. So the the uh, Ocean still exist. The range on I think a, lot a part of it does. I want to say yes. I want to say yes. Hold on, right as they possibly could. So it's really a pretty good mix on this. Um, this is like. Uh, Technically, they, do they really still pushed exist. the Ocean Digital on this, so the the mix on it was really good. We've got the five point one as well for the Japanese. Oh yeah, they still exist. Japanese, um, and it's got a lot of extras. Uh, I feel like three, they probably three, don't get a lot of work nowadays. Um, since, uh, they got uh, like three right, dubbing companies in English. Let's, let's break it down with with also a look at the alternate art. We'll look at the art uh, soon too. So, what what about these promos that are not in English? What? Oh, so 
So, I mean, this the Japanese. As we all know, the French and Italians are the real weeb of the, the world. Well, <laughs> oh, the, the, like, the French in Japanese alone, there's like immensely, six yes. trailers. But then they were like, oh, there's here's a French trailer. I'm oh, sure here's the Italians one in, in, like Italian. a lot of Japanese um, stuff. And also, too. Maybe obviously, the, all the, the Japan just thinks the Italians are cool. I don't know. You get to hear Donovan and Dimitri. Yeah, that's true. Italian. I know. I know Italians are pretty. Pretty into uh, anime. Thing. They show most. But I know. I know France trailer, like right. has people that go and work in like Japanese studios um, and vice versa as promos. well. So there, these are not just I mean, promos, but that, like maybe actually, that explains um, why France is saving Western animation. The, and remember, everyone, <laughs> watch Arcane. They're actually like system videos for um, like how the new system, like when they brought out uh, Vampire Hunter, which is what this one's based off of. Uh, they explained like here's how like the com the new combo system works, and here's how the new um, in Darkstalkers 3 or Vampire Savior, they had this new mechanic where um, if you died, you, you got back up and it wasn't uh, two rounds. It was like, and so it, it explains yeah. all that stuff. So it's pretty like, in the, it's like these in-depth like mechanics videos that I don't think are anywhere else uh, preserved anywhere else. So we were able to bring those along too. Okay, Vampire Hunter D is Sentai Filmworks at the moment. In this, uh, they had a credit roll, but we got a clean nope. version. Of oh too, yeah, right? Sentai. Yeah, the the, the, the other company that I'm car, pretty okay uh, with. Um, Trouble Man. Pretty Man. sure they also uh, are the ones who dubbed the Trails in the Sky OVA, the and uh... <laughs> what? Like on every um, Darkstalkers thing. That's the, the, on my the, only gripe the, with Sentai Filmworks is that the only way to get. And, Legends um, of Galactic Heroes so legally in North America is through Sentai to, uh, and through their almost like one thousand dollar box right. set. So, um, this, I mean, this, with like, how many Street episodes has, uh, Legend of Galactic Heroes has, that's a probably a steal. <laughs> so, I think it's like I think it's like eight hundred dollars US or something like that. Naming so once you convert it, oh, so like a dollar per episode. When you choose yeah. these, not only does it work close on enough. The, um, well, I was, kind of, I was kind of hoping they would release it as well in like Blu-ray so, blocks as well, uh, like even at like even like, at like um, eighty dollars a piece um, or something like that. Just have an entire yeah, book uh, DVD shelf of Galactic Heroes Blu-rays. I mean, that's, that's what I did with they Gundam. To, yeah, that's, so, a, I mean, that's a really weird one. It was uh, it was on the Japanese disc for some reason, and yeah, but how do you uh, we order like, them? Hey, can we like, you gotta do decimal system this? You put them in timeline order. I just throw it on the shelf and let fate take control. Always, always, that's great. That's fair. Never say no to that stuff. No, I got it organized. This this show has a lot of really good music in it, so it's it's kind of cool to hear more of it. Yeah. And uh, also, there's there's extensive. Oh, all the subtitle selection for U.S. names and Japanese names. That, Good. Because you uh, uh, you handed over a lot of art for. You know, and they were just like talking about fighter. how um there's, there's the, uh, how on the, uh, the, the Japanese that, uh, discs or whatever. Apparently, the sound effects and the yeah, music was, was, was you could just lucky to find you could just play them actual, like the full guitar <laughs> with no ending. no uh, <laughs> dub at all or no dub in the audio track over it. So I mean, you look at the amazing. Just give me the music. Just give me the music. It's the other guitar. I mean, look, uh, there's a giant guitar on the back. Yeah, so Obviously, it's got some rocking right tunes. Yeah. Like so many of our releases, there's a reverse cover, and here it is. And yeah, look at that. There's the other guitar. That's the guitar, awesome. yeah. Was, another I was, guitar. Yeah, I was really happy that I could sort of do that. Not that that's like a little, a little fun touch. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, this is the the packaging is other. Oh, one's a Felicia guitar. I think the other one's a Morgan guitar. Right. Correct. I might be wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's a really fun. And then the disc is. Uh, um we've got you know sexy morgan picture of course for the for the disc and uh yeah there's a and, I mean, and we were able to uh, that's pretty much every morgan picture except one, unless, unless she's from the american like, cartoon uh, where, she <laughs> where she's horrendous <laughs> They had a like, lot what of what were they like, thinking they, I mean, they and that, like, hey, that i'm pretty sure that predates four kids here's all the so yeah. vhs and like, here's, and here's here's la here's one of the laser disc covers from the gallery, and uh, to, you know, like, I'm pretty sure there's, there's American the Street Fighter cartoon too, and they didn't Empire. make like Chun Li. Well, the, like, the, ugly. The, you know, they just made Jack Empire. super small. Um, right. <laughs> I think like that's just so generic. That <laughs> oh like, yeah, is this like the amazing the shrinking Blanca? Yeah. And also, yeah. you know, even Vampire Hunter, like that causes brand problems if you try to use that title in this market because there are other things, other things that use that title. We release. Yeah, technically, this one in America is Night Warriors Darkstalkers Revenge. That's like the technical title for it. But we were able to just say, hey, can we just call it the Darkstalkers Collection? And they were like, cool. Because like, I, I think, like, obviously, Darkstalkers has more brand recognition. Yeah, it does. Uh, it does. The laser disc Honestly, Morgan has more brand recognition the than the half of these characters put together. Wonderful pieces you, by how dare you? How 
dare you? I mean, they keep putting her in every crossover fighting game they make. You forget about. Oh yeah, they were, uh, Gundam Wing was all over the promos for this. Like, hey, from the Out of it's of Morgan, Wing, um, a four of it's Felicia, this, this and then like, like say, Fel Felicia Felicia is basically the other one. And a bunch of different yeah. things. And, and this is um, the uh, art used for uh, used for Felicia. Yeah, we were actually able to find um, like this rough stuff, and as well as the like the next slide should be like really clean as well. Not Lou Felicia, she is a nun. Uh, we were able to dig up a lot more, so and, uh, it's uh, it's fully packed. Sure this thing is anyway. packed to the brim. Packed to the brim, and and one more thing we're gonna do is you gave me a quick little comparison clip and some still frames, so we're gonna watch this clip. Probably butchered her name. The, it's the, like he said, of, it's H S I N standard def and making it look good. Hyphen K O. Let's, let's I don't know how to say it though. Really I know BB. Yeah, I know BB Hood probably isn't in this, but I mean, that's my main. Yeah. Well, I actually think that the clip will probably be destroyed, <laughs> so we should maybe just. Skip I mean, right the I'm the only BB you'll ever need. Oh, is like, that right? No, you can't really Can't say that. In that case, uh, uh, if, if if it's going to be difficult to discern, the stills will be better. Then let's go to that. Yeah. See, so even even on the stream, this is like this is wiped away a bunch of the, the grain. So like, if you look at the original DVD, it it was really bit starved. But like, this has so much more grain and detail in it um, that it's 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 like night and day watching this. Um, You'll, you've never colors are a lot more richer. Uh, you've never seen this o OVA look like this before. And, and not uh, just not just grain, but like shimmer. It you know it's on on the on those original masters and that that's shimmer. all gone. It's ultra clean in the new one. More more. Yeah, we were so we were I'm trying for our gain. I proof. Trickery and work to get this to uh, also equestrian girls this to shine. Um, like mm -hmm. even the like the background details and the 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 black level of the original release was just not. Mm -hmm. Like it was like yeah, the, like the shadows are sharper. Really yeah. the DVD, shadows so are sharper. Such a huge Highlights are also I'm a lot nicer. You can actually like, it. I'm gonna use my pointer here. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. I mean it's gone there, but like the a lot of the colors were running together Lord, in the Lord original. Raptor, yeah, I can <laughs> see it. Like, Eddie. look at how like the uh, UK uh, Union oh, Jack. Yeah, one fun thing about this is in the original TV cartoon, the American one, Scott McNeil plays Lord Raptor, and he's the only person who plays him also in the anime as well yeah. so it's ah. both the same actor uh playing like two completely Animation different styles, versions of the character like he's, gargoyles. well i mean he's it, like it, he, he does man gargoyles things, was you know, such a lit show cockney accent greg weissman yeah. was a mistake <laughs> no you can't say that stuff baby you're gonna get this canceled anita I, I don't care why he cancels me. I'm <laughs> going to say it. Not having an ending plan for your cartoon is insane. Mm -hmm. Did you see what he said on Twitter recently? That he yeah, doesn't have a plan for how young Justice uh, ends. Did he just keep writing much, more seasons? Uh, <laughs> Absolutely insane. I can't stand it. Oh, yes. The, the Simpsons effect. I don't think the stream effect. does this justice, even though you can see the difference. Like, I don't think the stream does it justice. It's not the Simpsons. Right. There's plot so that, and that stuff. You our, can't our do that with plot. Every story has to end eventually. Also, I'm just still butthurt about Spectacular Spider-Man. And getting guys, cancelled and Young Justice out. coming back so I'm wasn't, in wasn't Gargoyles also, Disney? This is something that we released on video uh, Gargoyles was Disney yeah, yeah. Okay. And we're bringing it to Gargoyles was on Disney time anyway. I don't think at the time it was Fox quick clip. Oh, I'm, I'm positive it aired on Disney They're constantly asking for a Gargoyles world in uh, uh, Kingdom Hearts people used to are like it's it might have been one of the lesser animation studios not at the forefront I mean, it aired on Disney at least. People think it's Disney. I'm pretty sure it's Disney owned. Might be in the same vein as Gummy Bears. Whatever studio owns that. I'm pretty sure Disney owned that too. Is this Uzumaki? No. I think it's, uh. Actually. I don't know. Goosebumps. I'm not, um... It's Goosebumps. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ja Japanese goosebumps. goosebumps. Let's go. Sold it over a thousand times. Japanese Goosebumps. The, the story of the over 30 yeah, unwed woman. First taste of Uzumaki, the, uh, <laughs> okay, it is Uzumaki. Good call, BB. Yeah. I'm not familiar with, um... For the first time anywhere. I'm not familiar with a lot well, of Japanese live-action stuff. I mean, I, I've, uh, I've seen... I, I just... There was a swirl in the sky. That's why I guess Uzumaki. I, oh, yeah. I suppose. That's, like, one of the one Japanese word I know. It means, like, swirly thing. Yeah. 
or something. Thanks, Ito. And, uh, a newly revised subtitle. Um, actually, I think it means like uh, world war or something, are, but uh, I don't to remember. Determined, but this is coming. It's no swirly thing. Means Uzumaki. Now, Thanks, Naruto. Do you guys have any stories about porting this to Blu-ray? Was there anything interesting? The about only, this? the only Japanese uh, real kind of like really cinema. I don't even want to call it uh, cinema, but like, it, so it doesn't more, look it's more exploitation. The Tokyo Gore Police and like Ichi the Killer. David, um, you can talk a little yeah, bit about he strikes me as a guy who uh, do, uh, has really seen more than his fair share of Kaiju stuff. Yeah. yeah, so this was from an era where I would say that a lot of foreign films had what I would call, like, you know, the bare minimum kind of subtitles where you'd, they'd get the point across and, you know, there but there was a lot missing. Battle Royale you know, as well is another one. Translated. So I went in and pretty much rewrote the entire I just everything lit, rip all of Battle Royale a anyway. Work. It was very influential and, uh, at I the time. It, it's a lot better now. Um, as far as the video goes, I think it looks pretty all right. So anyway, I mean, Hunger Games was a mistake. You know why? <laughs> a, a 20, so how about them Squid Games? year old movie. Uh, 2000 being 22 years ago. Is really I know, weird. I've never seen but, Squid Game. Um, <laughs> mom watched it. Yeah, I think it, my it mom watched it. good for what it is. Uh, I think it's BB. probably going to be the best. I'm, it's gonna I'm be so sorry. There's so much CG in it. And like so I mean, I didn't uh, watch any of it. that... It's probably this is where the limit is, uh, but I mean, it, I'm not gonna it, bully my mom for I not watching think it with something. You absolutely like should bully your mom for the tone of it. Listen, um, so, listen. Yeah, even as uh, far Love back as mom. yesterday, the I was still working on these <laughs> subtitles, and I think that they're a lot better <laughs> now than they were before. So yeah, look forward to it. Um, I'm sure my cousin who yeah, makes movies pro- would probably. Lawyer about it instead. He wasn't dealing with his absolute this release that's coming later in 2022. Uh, so this is going to be the first. I do not have a word I want to say here. His ex-wife. Live action <laughs> Japanese genre films from Discotech, a sublabel uh, that we're calling Nihon Nights. That's a whole many fiasco. more will oh, come. So, new um. Once uh once it arrives, new sub company. Uh, look for this logo on uh, on the packaging and look for this uh, logo elsewhere. Neon Nights. It'd be look interesting to see to what it. they bring over then. Oh, I get it. It's like a neon uh, science. Class, neon. Most of classic stuff. Uh, stuff that yeah. wouldn't, you know. Yeah. Is yeah. Graphic yeah. design is my passion. <laughs> graphic design <laughs> is my passion. <laughs> release. Yeah. But, you know, stuff that, you know, you might have heard of that, you know, has stood, stood the test of time, at least with, a, with its niche. Mm-hmm. All right. Very exciting. Now, to continue the Can theme of upgrades. We have an important Project Echo update. And, what? Uh, you already released it. You can't do any more. Uh, you'll notice that it's got music and it's it's got the look. I'll fucking it do doesn't it have again. Dialogue <laughs> because <laughs> yeah, you know that that upscale that we got from the actual reels. Well, menu thing because the actual here we. What if we upscaled it again? We upscaled it again for new Project Echo. We put upscaling within your upscale. Oh, I wonder if it's why you upscale Echo versus. So I know 1 to 4 already came out on Blu-ray. Because I have that in my card as well. Uh, is that faster? It's faster than Sonic. And he's the fastest thing alive. Okay, so this one from high school girl to fighting robots, they're, okay? They're, um, they're not necessarily, uh, human. You know, it's a good fair. series. It's a good, it's a good for, a- Project Aiko 1 to 4 is great. I would highly recommend it. It's good fun. Also, some great, like, animation moments as well in it. The heck is that guy's outfit? Don't worry about it. Elvis. <laughs> it, it was a different him. time, Vivi. That's just how everybody looked. Okay. I'm sure if you raid your parents' closet, they'll have, like, stuff from the, like, uh, disco era still and a couple Polka, polka CDs still somewhere. Or Polka albums. 
Man, if I go into my mom's closet, I'll never find my way out. <laughs> so we can, we can answer the question of, I'll just okay, trip on a zillion and a half pairs of shoes. I was going to say, you'll have the... Uh... It's, coming. it's coming. It's coming to Blu-ray. Um, so, uh, so let's talk a little okay. bit about what we just saw. So this is another brand new 2K scan. Now, guys, what, what can you tell us about this? Uh, well, in that vault, we found more than one ACO. And this is this is going to be remastered 1080p Blu-ray for the first time anywhere, and we got a lot of bonus features in the oven for this one, huh? Yeah, we, who knew? Yeah, we we were like, oh, there's not that again. Much for this another one. new we scan. Sort of, like, I am. From a stone on this. There's a ton I of am. Stuff on this one. Um, he's literally okay throwing yeah, money at his screen just, right I, now. I, I am I, I going to write anymore. stuff, and suspect. I am putting stuff in my oh, cart oh, right oh, now. Like. I was talking to Justin about this, and like I can't believe the first one. Just I can't believe Disco Tech next. That it's above the I can't believe Disco Tech is literally done, robbing me at gunpoint right now. Like, like it's like it's a pretty kitchen sinky disc. Like yeah, this uh, is a normal kitchen sink disc as opposed yeah. to the holy shit. It's gonna be your you next. Uh, <laughs> let's just, talk about the X video. Nah, that's right. There's a cool I've been all right. So like I've been working on the Area 88 video for so long, and I've like rewritten it three times because every time I get to a point. It's like, but yeah, that's that's. I, do, am I actually right. talking about the yeah, Area a, 88 anime really, at this point a, anymore? A am I just cool doing a big old this, history uh, retrospect? Uh, and I don't want it to be a big old Anna like history retrospect. Like the fake French but I also bought 32 ones, so issues of the comic that was released in English. Taiwanese trailer for this. <laughs> <laughs> and I also don't want to. I don't want that purchase to go in vain. So maybe I'll talk about that a little bit because. And she was it's like, actually they like can make make two videos, one of the comic, one of the anime. That's yeah. an idea. And uh, in fact, because like, the um, uh, you make I, two I, videos, you can like, link one like, and the other, and you can get double the uh, like, viewer and, revenue. And she was like, for yeah, for all you sort of younger <laughs> folks, <laughs> manga used to come out in comic book format, like pigeon. And it's not even comic book sizing and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. It's um, not really? Yeah. Stickers. And, it's, it's really and I, used and to I come out bi weekly really, as well. That, like chapters, the they releases, would release it in a comic book bi weekly. Uh, so. Um, oh, like, like the old, not like, even, Viz in the old either, days? So. Yeah, well, it was a call, Viz, 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 Viz was called Eclipse uh, Comics at the time. And, um, uh, and uh, fun fact, Area 88 video, and the, My the Psychic Girl were the first two manga ever written. brought and over to North cool America thing, in a uh, Mark tells me that continuous release. That uh, technically, Akira, I think, came over a little bit earlier. Akira was like... Akira was published by Marvel, so that means that Tetsuo could show up in Marvel vs. Capcom 4, which will never happen. Movie and oh, it could and happen if I'm Disney didn't need Marvel's Capcom Infamous. Um, Jesus Christ, removing Magneto and Wolverine. What were they so freaking thinking? The Blu -ray Can't give and, Sony uh, money, is what they're thinking. Yeah, because the soundtrack cues, those are not going to be complete in the Now they own Magneto and Wolverine. They, they didn't even need yeah, to give no, them money. They have <laughs> like, a video uh, game. They like never owned the video game rights. So it's pretty oh, it's, You have the movie um, rights. And of course, this has the No, we can't we just, just bite the bullet the Echo, and we risk we advertising a completely got different here, version of the as character, much of the which is nothing like the movie versions. Um, even uh, though they have a pedigree of appearing in Marvel vs. Capcom. And, uh, David, no, it's not like uh, Wolverine David, you is discovered every something Marvel vs. Capcom. The, uh, the ending theme, right? Every Capcom Marvel fighting game for that point. Going all the way back to like, uh... Oh, Plastic Children of the Atom or whatever it was. Who knew? That. Oh, the, that's interesting. Every time we were into City Pop, everyone's favorite. The uh, apparently the ending they discovered movie. that was done oh, by yeah. um, Deco too. Uh, the girl who did it Plastic Love. It makes sense because it's such a it's such a damn earworm. Oh, the E.G. Yeah, that's oh, so thanks. cool. And uh, also, we did want to point out that what you're looking at is the you know that's the key art from Project Deco too uh, from from the original artist. But just like with the first film, uh, we got a we got a new artwork in the oven. It's just not ready yet. Any, yeah, any clues oh. on that, Brady? Have you not ready yet? yet? It's not ready yet, but yeah. It's, it's very, so, very early. So uh, I, I, when I was doing really research on Area 88 so it's not as um, far as and waiting for the comics to actually uh, arrive, because yeah, uh, the other thing that's frustrating with Area 88 uh, is that show, even though it was like it'll, one of the well, first the, mangas to be brought over to North America, even though it was in comic format, it never got a proper like manga release. So the only way to get it in English, separate issues. Yeah, well, the only way to get it is in the original like 1986 1987 for the cover comic book yeah, format print run it never had a like a complete collection type thing looking evil so 
Oh boy, oh, yeah, so that means you gotta pay yeah, through the nose and hope it's in good quality. Well, well yeah, that, that's the thing. I'm, uh, I I have almost all of it now. I had this one restored, um, and I was like, this looks good. But cool. it's mainly just messaging eBay sellers well, like being like, hey, can you space. check your. Uh, I see you got like these issues listed on your eBay right. store. So, could you. Um, so just, just to go through one, will you combine? Uh, and uh, two, do you have any more? This one I had restored. Oh, wow. I'll give you money. Yeah, literally, I'll give you money. Yeah. I had her like redraw because I want to use this for the packaging probably, and I had to redraw it. And if you look at Biko on this, it looks like she's like riding an invisible motorcycle. Yeah, you're right. She's got yeah, yeah kind invisible of, motorcycle, kind of like the invisible there. jet. Yeah, she's, but she's, she's yeah. looking cute and adorable and scrunched up, but yeah, floating in midair. That's interesting. And uh, there's of course uh, set day drawings of the characters in the various costumes. And then um. Yeah, so and of course, I, I I've uh, also like gotten to a a point with it suits. where it's just like there's Elvis. Why they call this one Project Echo Two contains nudity. Hell yeah, because <laughs> it doesn't really. Yeah, yeah, it's not it's not quite as racy as the first one. Uh, and there's we looks like we got some storyboard art too. Not the uh, I don't think we have the complete storyboard. Uh, no. From, from the first no. one, but yeah, there's there's definitely some of that material, and uh, this is this was an interesting find, some stuff from a video game. Yeah, we uh, this is this was uh, by our pal Logan. Um, uh, he found these games and first we did this, ever these, anime uh, slot going game. And oh we, God, we is this where the pachinko uh, came from? <laughs> uh, it's digital games. pachinko. <laughs> so created a bunch of the scenes Now you can become a horrible gambling addict game, at your home. Like eight bit. <laughs> I mean, uh, I can already do style. that. That's I just really need cool. to find a way uh, to download are, Gotcha. I was, was, well, was going to say, I could already do that. I play Genshin like, Impact. Uh, it actually says it's like <laughs> the, the first ever anime slot game. Like, it's a patchy slot kind of game, but it's mostly mini games and stuff like that. But it's a mm -hmm. it's a neat little gallery that goes through yeah, just, game. Yeah, really just fun. play Genshin Impact and, and, course, and get involved uh, with Genshin uh, fan, the fan, yeah. Genshin I, fan base. I, I, trivia bits and, and whatnot. I like God. this, uh, where, where it's spotted that she's not wearing the same. What's wrong, IT? Terrified of Genshin Twitter? In 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 fact, in this trailer, all the footage Probably. from scared of hearing underage band opinions. Uh, <laughs> having to listen to underage opinions on so, the internet should be considered um, a human like, rights violation. Like, like, the shot of I'm pretty sure there's a I'm pretty sure there's a section on that the uh, Geneva right. Convention. <laughs> It was really weird. I mean, like, you I, think I about it, the Geneva conventions are just a checklist. Yeah, it's uh, more of a and Geneva a of suggestion. Like that. that trailer is actually <laughs> reuses a lot from Echo One, so I'm assuming that who's been playing Triangle um, Strategy and committing it was war made crimes? Really, really early on in production. My copy still hasn't um, shown up yet. And that this was just like what footage was ah, the second part. Um, kind of so, sucks. Yeah, we got all that on there. It's so I've been playing. I've been playing. God bless him. I'm playing that Kingdom Hearts instead. Because it's a really short, mm. like, 55 minutes. So, like, At Time Splicer yet? Wrote, like, a pretty good amount of stuff hmm? about time, this. Or Final Frame, I forget what the time explore. stop uh, limit break yeah, is yeah, in that yeah, game. I, 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 no, not yet. Time Splicer or Fatal Frame? This was my favorite of Elite the uh, Planet. Uh, gallery of weird references snuck in there, because uh, I would not have put together what they're actually trying to say with these headlines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a combination of, like... Justin and David wow. and our, our Superman exists. Pal, pal, He's uh, real. Ellis, Look, like, everybody. It's the daily all this together and me and uh, there's a lot of weird stuff. My that like, Superman mobs go good. Too, which is kind of interesting. So, uh, once if you get the disc, please give it a please give it a whirl because there's a lot of weird stuff in this one too, just like the first one. All right, so that's uh, that's that's the lowdown on Project Echo Two, which is coming to Blu-ray in high definition, remastered for the first time. Later this year, look forward to I wonder that. if Daily Planet was just now, not copyrighted like in Japan at the time. The third Here we go. Because, of course, uh, we love to bring you more. Hey, that's, I at least got one thing on my checklist speed. correct. Um, the Mystery of Mamo uh, feature film that's that's available this month. Uh, if you uh, if you pre-ordered it, you should have it by the end of the month. I'll check that Four out. Four separate uh, English dubs? The third yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. My, my favorite Lupin movie because it's yeah. Lupin. Well, um... Mamo was, I think, the uh, liner notes, uh, one of the first Reed movies. Nelson, and of course, four Sons of Action uh, doing all new liner notes by Lumen the Third expert Reed Nelson. Productions dubbed from the seventies with all the wacky hey, You can be an expert in, and, uh, in an anime were, now, like, man. We showed out some artwork from <laughs> yeah. this. Yeah. Dragon oh, Ball. Uh, can you? I got, I got my PhD. I got my PhD. I got my PhD in Dragon Ball Z. Look at the packaging. There's the O card, the cardboard that's going to be on the outside. Hell yeah! Side wrap, and uh, on the alternate wrap, there is uh, the original artwork with the. Uh, Man, that's some uh, interesting things on her. 
That's yeah, actually. I, 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 I was reading on, I think, like, Blu-ray.com and a couple of forums, and people were like, oh, they had the new art. They don't have the classic art, but it's, it's always it's So always which there. is the it's one that has, uh... I mean, I, I actually... Jigen really or whatever his name is complaining about so women. might not be able to tell. Uh, all of them. This was new art that was <laughs> on video release. Uh, oh, Pert, he just Pert, does that all the time? Part 2. Was pretty yeah, notorious for it. For leg work to get it. Uh, part two is the one where he says, "I'm a, uh, I'm a misog- really cool. misogynist." The characters, including uh, you know, Gordon, uh, very Gordon, famously, FBI agent and uh, and the big heavy dude. And- I mean, considering the most prominent wom- woman in Lupin, I kind of understand. And, uh, along with um, this month, uh, next month is episode zero, the first contact, the uh, the 2002 Lupin the Third origin story, with a brand new dubbed version uh, that we produced with Epcar Entertainment. With the classic, uh, you know, the now classic, yeah. iconic. Oh, Quartet Richard Epcar, yeah, yeah, my boy, Tony Oliver as well. So that's uh, that's something cool to look forward. Show to. Up. Tony Oliver is a uh, is a great uh, Lupin. It's, uh, it's been remastered and upscaled, so this is the. I think best he's also the dub VA of like this Lance or was at some point. On the third, uh, TV and video specials. I'm kind of sad. I don't. Um, fun. They're not going to talk about part to six. At. I'm pretty sure, which is unfortunate. So Yep. I know that's not How confirmed. many freaking parts does Lupin have? Six. It's, it's, I think there are, there's, there's oh, six okay. parts uh, for definitely, TV series. It's, it's um, I think close to 25 to 30 movies. It's, it's got uh, <laughs> all the right notes for all the characters. Jesus. And this is why you need, needs a freaking historian. Sort of an origin story, though it's, mm-hmm. it's, uh, it's sort of interesting in that you're not sure though, though the movies are um story, the movies are also like up, so uh lupin the third i like, uh, i swear like, i read somewhere fun, uh, and this is going to be hearsay so don't take this as like so that's, take that's this with a grain of salt this isn't this me confirming too, or like, like really saying i historically looked into this but i'm pretty sure tms made a right, deal and, uh, with monkey punch as well as like we're going to give it um lupin the third hell yeah okay good to go pre-order that later today series um the blu-ray uh, all new 1080p uh, remaster. Uh, it's 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 been uh, reworked from the original source from Japan. So, it, so what about the deal with Monkey Sorry, Punch? Sorry, I was just this. Uh, this is this is of my interests. Uh, um, so uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they made a deal um, that they have to do a yearly special. So there is a every year since Lupin the Third, like I want to say since like the mid 80s, maybe before that, there's always been a like 40 48 minute long like some yearly special for Lupin some on, uh, on and those technically high count high as like to towards the 20 some movies video. this is how you do it ah and uh this is a uh, they're more like OVA yeah yeah it's more like an OVA it's more like a two part OVA streaming that's before it was remastered so like, like th- this oh, is really? like how there's that one yeah. Sonic anime movie yes. that really isn't um, that long yeah, yeah. yeah. with that all Sonic that still the, the streaming is totally before we even touched it it's it's pretty much the yeah, raw those masters they put up. Weird, um, that. But on the other we, hand, we obviously went in and did some okay. pretty good work on it. Sonic take and you're so ever gonna hear. Blue race will look better than even that. I didn't care for yeah, Mania. I, mean, I want to say it's not perfect, but like. Oh, really? Did, no, I, I loved it. <laughs> I just thought I just thought I would drop the hottest <laughs> Sonic take. There are some shots. Well, no, here's the real hottest the, Sonic take. Um, Knuckles from this point forward should always be depicted wearing his hat. The original Blu-ray release in Japan, they were like, "Oh, the cowboy hat." I agree. One shot of Fujiko that's just like absolutely destroyed on the original Masters. That I Uh, can you imagine if if in like the new Sonic movie that comes out, they get Knuckles to put his hat on at some point? There's no way. uh, I would say this is the best that's ever looked, but it's still a show from the '60s. So like, uh, temper your, you know. It's a, it's a There's only so much you can do with 60s old, film yeah. stock, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. production was pretty rough. Yeah, and you can always I mean, add more CGI it to it. Yeah, I mean, oh, wait, we, that we was film, sorry. actually, actually, the the movie, uh, the movie is one of the few CGI old films. Old um, I will not like, knock. Um, like, the original, the uh, original, one because I like Lupin the Third, and I'll be a huge simp for him. There's like um the other being that they realized that like. And it's like it's, it's it, it is a very cartoonish character, so they the like they had with a lot of like exaggerated uh, features and proportions and stuff Blu-ray like that, and played still, into like, it. You could still see G- which fits like, really, fit, which, which fits, fit, which fits really. Of, like, fix a lot of the, weird, the CGI like, loop movie looks really pretty. Yes. Um. So they lean they lean into like the um the surrealism, I guess, of like Lupin's proportions right, so and like character designs the, and like that sort of stuff and see the, the line and how is like the joke i was making about cgi set. you can go back yeah, and more cgi was making a star wars joke part three oh. part, part four and part five i hate cgi i hate cgi um 
<laughs> at the end of the day, CG is a tool, right? It depends yeah. on how you use it. Right, and you know, to close. I mean, off yeah, we all love Spider Verse, right? right? Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. In- I yeah. swear I won't ban anyone who it's says they don't this. like Spider Verse. Honestly, coming to Blue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just making sure. Yes. Well, you know what they said. He is always dynamite, and uh, that was uh, that was from Lupin the Third, Prison of the Past, and. Uh, you may have seen this on certain streaming video channels, or maybe you were in the packed world premiere of the dubbed version at Anime NYC. Well, well, now we're bringing it home, baby, uh, to Blu-ray. Loop on the Third, Prison of the Past. And uh, this is the most recent of the uh, big Loop on the Third TV movies coming to Blu-ray. And, so, uh, and as pick- you heard, another pickup for me. Uh, along Man, with I'm going to go broke. Japanese version, uh, with I'm going to be Scrooge I McBroke. guess you just need to get on that YouTube and hustle and start later. breaking the money. Yeah, I, need, I need to start doing... I need to start uh, doing... Um, Back to the minds with you. I mean, start doing uh, daily just, drama there's, there's updates. Since it's so recent. There's a creditless uh, opening... Uh, just yeah, started a case, rant you know, series about how much you hate <laughs> modern anime. The, the dub was really sort of shiny. Just, just, just create your own oh, drama. Oh, I know. Just create I know, my yeah, own drama. drama. What am I? That's right. I have the best Lupin idea. Special, so oh, no. You pick whatever the most popular it, flavor of the month yeah, anime of the season is, watch it, and just thought and describe how terrible it is. See what happens. Counter signal the most popular thing. Genius. Pretty much been forced to watch them all so yeah. dress up the government dress up darling isn't actually okay, that hot or, uh, to add to the loop on the third update or shall we continue no. okay let's watch another i'm video. going to jay <笑><笑><笑> this conan yeah uh yeah case closed oh wow Will this series ever end? No. <laughs> nope. So what was what's been running longer? This or Berserk? Well, this I'm pretty sure officially as of uh I know, I know. Alright, so that's that's a that's a pretty brief Rest in uh, peace, my era. for the Rest in uh, peace. case closed movie, Fist of Blue Sapphire. And uh this is something that we're gonna be bringing to Blu ray. Uh Pretty soon now, and this is this is a culturally important uh, Detective Conan movie because it's the 23rd movie, and uh, it's set in Singapore. You can tell by the by the boat on top of the hotel. That's a dead giveaway. But this is actually the most successful Detective Conan movie of all time. It sold more tickets than any other, and in fact is one of the 50 most successful Japanese movies uh, ever at the Japanese box office. Hell yeah! And uh, our release on Blu-ray uh, 1080p is going to have. Uh, the Japanese version, uh, as well as the English dub, uh, using that uh, that new cast uh, that that are really growing on us. Isn't and, like uh, the most addition, successful Japanese movie, film on the box on a some Demon Slayer movie, movie or it's something? It's Demon nowadays. Slayer, and then I'm pretty sure Eva. Repeat. So on, uh, Shin Twitter, Eva. And on social media, uh, repeat. Oh really? Asking, yeah. Okay. What what about? Case I'm pretty Cody? sure. What about Detective Conan? Is there? I remember it used yes, to be a your name. Here it comes. And, uh, yeah, then Demon Slayer, then Demon man. Slayer slapped the shit out of it. Detective Conan guy, and yeah. really come to enjoy watching these movies. Uh, All difference is your name is actually a good movie. Uh, Whoa! Closing the gap. Now that's <laughs> a hot this take. Is the second most recent movie that has come out. I, I realize I mean, there's going to be another one in Japan next month, but uh, here's the thing: Demon yeah, Slayer is carried entirely by UFO Table's uh, <laughs> visuals, and it's actually it's not that good. That we keep doing so, and uh, and and we'll keep uh, saying not having we'll watched Demon Slayer and only. Going to so do cool. this to take off any now, people who it's, watch it's this VOD. Mecha update. Uh, my plan. Hell yeah, is, uh, Mecha time. Shut up. Robots, and my time. To Adobe stock and and look for Mecha stuff. All of the stock. And hear the blood are, rush like, into his crotch robots, right now. Yeah. Too much like I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna to, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to stand up for this one, boys. I, I didn't want to use any of them, so this is just a slide with no artwork. That's okay though, because I have actual uh, openings to show you. You listen closely. You can hear him zipping his pants. So I got I got the uh, I got the sweatpants yeah, just for this. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's Astro Boy again. <laughs> Not actually Astro Boy. Yep. You remember Galaxy Express? Of course you don't. Nobody does. I remember it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have it. Oh, 
that a giant robot sticking out of the tile of Battleship? Hell yeah, it is. That's pretty dope. Astro Train! Astro Train's gonna bring you some Astro Pain, if you know what I mean. I mean, we all know he just said they needed to jettison Wade to start something because he wanted yeah. something. To... No, this is, um, pretty sure this is an old, uh, Tomino production as well. Tomino is the Gundam guy, right? Yeah, he's the one that talked about, um, um, how much Shar wants to fuck. Yeah. Can't believe Astro Train was inspired by this cartoon. All right, and as as the singer repeated over and over again in falsetto, that is Sasuriger. Yeah, Galactic Whirlwind Sasuriger, and that's uh, that's coming to standard def on Blu-ray soon from Discotech. And uh, this is a the third and final chapter in the J9 saga. And I'll uh, I'll I'll, I'll talk a, a little saga? bit about this one because yeah. this is my favorite of the J9 series. It's it's lighthearted. It's got a great sense of humor about itself. The you know the title robot, the transforming train is is iconic. And every one of these J9 shows... Oh, no, it wasn't Tomino. ...something different. The first one, uh, they, they very deliberately... I'm an idiot. Do sort of a Don't worry about it. ...third gang in space. Thing. Don't worry, Catcher. Uh, I won't tell anyone you were wrong. Uh, the reason uh, I thought that is that uh, the main uh, character looks a lot like the main character and, from uh, Space, uh, space uh, Runaway, Idion. Uh, Sasu Rygar is... Uh, I mean, they all... You know, didn't the all, TV's like, 70s space, mecha protagonists have that same haircut? Listen, got, you know, a cool main character. BB, uh, you can't I just mean, you can't just say they all look the same. Got like a you know curly afro haircut. I mean, I can. <laughs> Most of them are white. <laughs> all forty-three episodes are going to be in this on standard definition. Uh, we, we always point out for these Meals French from Movie International, they don't look that good. They they look a little bit busted because these are old video masters. These have not been remastered from their original films. Actually, come to think of it, I think he, Astro Train happen. was inspired so by this now, guy because I think Astro Train has that V shape. Oh man, across hold on, I got I got to Google well. something real quick. Uh, is Elgin? Uh, did Elgin get a release? And, uh, because if yeah, not, put it in the I would be so this, this entirely one really hype. Uh, if Elgin and if you love gets a release, Mecha and Super Robot aesthetic. Man, this is a an image of Astro Train. Though, sure I does. do. See this, uh, this robot in the Polaroid with its uh, uh, ready to go. So that's J9. Do you, do you guys have anything to add about that? Because Elgin is Tom Tomino, well, but it was Tomino know. before I Gundam. Mean, like, this is I'm pretty sure. Like the other J9. No, post Gundam. Really Gundam was 79. Brings, you know, Elgin was, I think, 84 musical, or something like that. Rockish kind of element to it that I don't think I've um, seen it, any other. His cartoon model didn't have, but his, like, a... Uh, it was pre-Zeta, like that it was did. what I'm So it, it has the same, you know, kind of feeling the others did. It really does go out with a bang as well. And it should, you know, look great um, on the shelf next to your other ones. Nice and complete. So, There's the voice yeah, chat. look forward to it. Fun stuff. I mean, right, and now this it's next not one, exactly the same, uh, but is, I think it's something that is, is brand new for that in mind. I, I don't think a lot of people anticipated it. I didn't. This is a pleasant surprise, and this this is another mecha show from the same time period as Sasu Rager. So let's see how long it takes for you guys to guess. Oh, no. Well, I mean, uh, it says it right there on the title, so uh, I don't think we have to guess too hard. <laughs> hey, you... Catra, 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 Catra. We yeah. all know that people watching these are mostly illiterate. <laughs> yeah, like me. That's just our average read. <laughs> it's, it's true. I don't, need a, a, I don't need to learn English. I'm going to go live in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Local how, how has hard... spent so much time consuming Japanese media, he has forgotten how to speak English. I can get by on just Romanji, right? <laughs> I mean, you can if you're playing imported versions of Final Mix in before, you know, they released all of them. But back in the day, all you needed was Romanji for Kingdom Hearts. At least to actually play the game. Because most of the scenes were English dubbed. I mean, how, how important is learning kanji really going to be? <laughs> Uh, and once again, I see the channel going Curry crazy Masu. for it, so, so we did good again. Dorvac, uh, Powered Armor Dorvac is coming to standard def on Blu-ray, the whole series. 
36 episodes, and this is, yeah, an, an exciting, lesser-known classic of mecha anime. I think the only Dorvac stuff we got in, in America was, like, the the helicopter mecha came out as Whirl. Like, it was one of the Transformers. Other than really? Other than that, we get a whole lot of, yeah. uh, of Dorvac exposure. And, uh, I can believe that, because, be like, uh, the whole there's Jetfire thing. Got on this. There's, uh, yeah. I'm sure. Borrowed, borrowed heavily. Well, I mean, not, I love that I mean, that opening is, uh, once again, wrong. bringing up Harmony Gold, those bastards, in basically <laughs> suing over Starscream. Uh, so. Discotech, any other impressions on this one? What the heck with the Silver Star is Star He's not worth it. It has a credit <laughs> roll longer than the music. God damn. Uh, <laughs> that sounds it, like an exciting curiosity. I love it. Every day that I get I to make no fun of Star is. Screen it's is a day like, well okay, spent. <laughs> sure. Well, yeah, well that sure really explains a lot <laughs> about world design. Package, we're putting it on the disc. Yeah, and also the, the master for this one looked pretty good. So Man, that, someone, that, someone has already updated the Wikipedia page. For this one. To say yeah, Disco Tech uh, license. This was, uh, <laughs> yeah. There was nowhere but up to go. There's, Whirl there's, was originally like the Oberon Gazette from the like special R Battalion Dorvac toy line, although the toy is dark yeah, and light blue and red for the Transformers no, release. I think there was an HD, or not HD. Oh, so that makes a lot of sense of the world's design because he has that big cockpit right on his chest area. Yeah, the package artwork like it was something a little bit more recent. Also, the Cyclops yeah, eye, which cool seems weird and, uh, given a uh, comparison to like the only other Cyclops eye character was Shockwave. In 2022, Thanks. only 40 years later, you can read. Looks a lot like Shockwave, actually. In the right, face. So, so when we were planning this, we were like, "Oh yeah, we'll uh, we'll, we'll tell the news wires to start releasing the stuff at 10:30 because we'll be done in 90 minutes." No, we're not done in 90 minutes. We uh, yeah, those announcements got pushed back a little. We're, it's uh, what take is Saber us Rider based off of? We're getting there. We're getting it's, there. We're uh, getting there. Brave Star. We talk a little bit about the release calendar of. Or no, Brave Star is the American one. Um, where we just wanted to be reminded. Uh, as of Saber Rider month, and the Star Sheriffs. Month, the uh, the complete. Machine based Robo off of a uh, bonus, including the OVAs Bismarck uh, is yeah available that's it. now on standard definition on Blu-ray the classic Sonic the Hedgehog Adventures Star of Star Musketeer Sonic Bismarck TV series is available mm. on standard def on Blu-ray uh, Miss Vampire who lives in my neighborhood is on Blu-ray a more recent show our first steelbook Angel Cop is available now and uh, the second J9 series. Uh, I don't know what to tell you guys, but month. February 2022 so is over. These, uh, places like Right Stuff, Amazon, uh, <laughs> yeah, online retailers. Oh, it would have been stuff that's already month, released. March, so this month is uh, they're just basically going month. over the release uh, calendar now. The uh, skull-faced bookseller ah. Honda San. I guess we must be wanting now. Series is coming to Blu-ray. Yeah. Uh, Miss Koizumi. Well, they usually do the whole Koizumi one last Koizumi thing. That's the title. Ah, uh, yes. Because that's what um, it was. Uh, yeah, the Nintendo Direct effect. Um, oh, there's that Tomorrow uh, Joe thing you were of, excited about. Yeah, Tomorrow about. Joe 2 uh, is a great we film. We talked about that before. City that Hunter is TV. that is shipped officially yesterday City for me. City Hunter TV series. Street Sharks. I get obviously. that City Hunter. Jawsome. Actually, that... Uh, oh, wow. I think I, I think I I think I saw... I've novel. seen something with T Tomorrow and Joe directly and referenced. And, uh, yeah, I think um, uh, one of the characters in Danganronpa, Rampa, their death is like when their their post is a reference. Yes, it's a, it's a reference to um, Haji no Ippo. This is yeah. Pepper Pot, which... Uh, that, that, Tomorrow Joe I think and Haji no Ippo. about this in the, uh, in the previous yeah. panel in depth, or maybe we touched on it a little bit. Cat's I got pre-ordered, so I got to get that City Hunter. My my question yeah, is, um, when they bought course, the City so like Hunter license, or when they licensed, I shouldn't say bought, but when they licensed it was, City it was Hunter, um, they, they do I've always been curious if uh, they, um, some crazy amount, like if they got the Angel Heart episodes series with it as well, because yeah. Angel Heart is but, an uh, alternate it universe is an HD City HD Hunter remaster, but we made it that had a 50 episode TV series. It's a little bit darker. It's a little bit like what it is. That's um, down to the film elements. Yeah. Uh, uh, it basically, is, it is uh, it is a Saiba, new Ryo Saiba, and, um, and Kari got brand new songs, um, uh, subtitled for the first time. Are, are getting it's married, a, and on and, like the uh, day also, before their wedding, uh, our, our Kari dies. A, um, a really so, analysis kill for him, of yeah. how it differs from the original uh, Norwegian book series, which are very, very famous. Right. That's cool. All right, so that that's another one coming. I would not out know much about an Norwegian uh, books here, but I believe uh, it. Episode zero, first contact. City Hunter ninety one. 
you also have that pre-ordered. <laughs> uh, is coming out in April, so uh, you, you can start rounding out. So everything you have everything on screen pre-ordered, and, uh, except Miss Except, except for that one. Uh, Konosuba, except for that one. You, you got to pre-order it's that now. I got Yeah, I got to. I got to. I got to pre-order the Konosuba. Bringing this into May, uh, which we've been talking about. Oh, here's how to start uh, controversy. Critique Konosuba. Just do it. Which we led with is coming. I think it is just okay. <laughs> um, honestly, honestly, I think that would be the most drama-inducing thing you could say. Well, that's, we're bringing you that I'm a huge now. Konosuba fan, and that's uh, a pretty well fair assessment. <laughs> Konosuba, more like and Kono Midba. The, 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 the issue, my issue with Konosuba is that it quickly devolves into basically repetition. Dubbed in English, and there's only uh, like finally, two actual characters in these, these terms of like characters that develop and just don't become punchlines. These should be coming As usual, the light uh, novels so, so are better, an eye out for that. but Darkness Other really is the weakest character. Yeah. Should, be have, uh, list, should have listings for it soon. I mean, she could have. So they could have done more with her character, but I guess the author just chose not to. These got pushed back because uh, I gotta focus on Megumi. Even Aqua gets development. We can get them ready, but uh, they're they're still on the She's like freaking Wally comes were a mistake. Sit tight. We're bringing the Tales of Fantasia OVA series. Tales of Fantasia. If I recall. If I recall. Well, Megamine uh, was we'll supposed to be like details for you. 18 in the web novel. Uh, now we've just got a few more announcements. Here we go. Yeah, some yeah, more announcements. This, one this is the this is the of a, a show that we started releasing. So one last season. thing type deal. Oh, some, so I shouldn't say, but That's they got a couple. Part. They said a couple more announcements. <laughs> We are not done. We always leave something for last, and this is no exception. So don't you dare move. All right. I gotta go to the bathroom. It's been almost two hours. We're right on the. We're right on the. Okay. Anyway. Roll the clip. I mean, Ran from 2004 to 2011. That's right. Sergeant yeah, Frog years. intensifies. Uh, we, we, we had talked about our intentions to, to, release, uh, to continue releasing this. This is the complete second season, which is coming to uh, Standard Def uh, on Blu-ray soon. And uh, season two, another 52 episodes of, uh, of Snack Enjoying and Plastic Model Puts them about halfway there. Attempting to conquer the world. Uh, in standard def, and this is notable because uh, we are reaching the limit of the episodes that uh, were originally dubbed by Funimation. They're all going to be here, and we're pushing past that with uh, with some additional episodes that will be in Japanese only with subtitles, uh, and and also greatly improved subtitles from the original release. Because uh, as usual, really they didn't we finish the whole season. No, uh, it's uh, Funimation. <laughs> and, uh, you, you just saw the clean opening. It's just good enough for them. Yeah, it's just good and, enough. Uh, character I mean, how long? Um, Funimation, the ones that got suckered into dubbing a hentai. Sit too close to yep. Yeah. He's, uh, interspecies reviews. Yep. Coming, I wouldn't uh, say they got suckered into it. It's um, they probably uh, were not uh, expecting uh, it to go as far as they did because. A lot yeah, of the very a lot farther um, than the yeah the manga was a lot more the manga was tamer episodes <laughs> was one of the um, dubbed yeah and includes also for the first time in but I mean the didn't US, um uh, aside from streaming thought it was gonna be haha we'll cut um, to black haha ha. maybe, maybe I'm misremembering but didn't Funimation skip a bunch of episodes for One Piece as well episode one hundred uh four I can buy now and so. Yeah, uh, we I mean, you could skip really a bunch of episodes of One Piece and not miss job much. With these <laughs> How um, dare you? I, Why are you like, saying there's, really there's filler? Them. They look really, really nice. Listen, you're, you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna sit point, there. Right? You're, you're gonna sit there and you're gonna watch uh, all one thousand episodes. Like you're gonna like it. Names to match Have our I? season one subtitles as well, so uh, you won't feel see like any it could of read it faster than I could watch it. That is, I believe that is an actual factual thing now. I believe you can actually read it faster than you can watch it. The SD master and all that looks going on like the so I think like so many pages per day or so many pages per hour. I really loved the first season. I'm yeah, but sure we just can't read. This one <laughs> yeah, we established this. You're breaking the canon. I mean, my favorite thing you're breaking canon. Is, is that uh, we just care about Video One Piece, or there doesn't seem enough waifus mo- in it for the, that? Most, the but but there's a, well, there's the a ton of waifus. What are you talking about? And you think you guys were you able to go back? You see how women are drawing One Piece? Yes, that's why they like it. Shows and font match and match the terminology. It's just you look weird. Everyone in One Piece looks weird. I don't know how you get off to a One Piece. Character. <laughs> especially towards the end where there are direct references to a certain series that we may have worked on that we reference in it I, th- I think i know the one you mean and i won't spoil it but uh this is this is definitely something that's uh that's worth seeing what a fun series 
All right, so we're gonna we got a couple of announcements left, and I'll go straight to the clip of this one. This is something we're gonna we're bringing to Blu-ray. It's a fairly recent series, and I'm curious to see. Kona Suba Two. Psyched for it. Let's roll <laughs> the uh, the clip. Is it fruit basket? No. I mean, it's some girly shoujo looking thing. Yeah, uh, so I don't know much shoujo. See, now, you though. don't need to know kanji. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest, mo most of Japan probably doesn't know kanji as much as they should. You don't really need to read to be a wage slave, right? <laughs> Whoa! BB! Can't <laughs> use the S word here. <laughs> Wait, didn't say suicide. They prefer the term salary man, thank you. This I was right about being shoujo. Yeah. I mean, look at that. That's... It's got that look to it. Is that what you're trying to say, BB? No, it's because there's like this long, drawn out thing of them reaching their hands toward each other, putting their palms together. I don't know. I have no idea what this I like is. The, uh, I like the fact that a lot of you were, were a little bit confused, because this was not a big hit, Holmes of Kyoto. But you know what? Every anime is someone's favorite, and we're happy to bring this one to Blu-ray. Uh, and if you time. like it, you're wrong. Use license alert, Holmes of Kyoto. <laughs> this is a, I uh, mean, little, remember, uh, if you like something I don't like, you're wrong. Series, like Ruby. Uh, with, with a hint of romance coming to Blu-ray. Ruby is good and keeps getting better. High definition. Ruby is bad and Japanese keeps getting worse. Clean opening and ending clips as well. So that's uh, duality that's of Ruby. The, the duality of man. Twenty-two. Stick that one <laughs> in your photo album. I'll be honest. Any me saying that is because some of the criticism of Ruby is in such bad team. faith that they deserve uh, to. Let's get... move on. <laughs> <laughs> they, they they deserve to get so mad. Let's try to get through this. Uh, just in case some of you joined late, we're just going to go through real quick a list of announcements we've gone through so far. Uh, we're doing Astro so Boy far. from 1980 on Blu-ray, complete and uncut in English and Japanese. So I'm, I'm probably going to pick up Astro uh, Boy. There's no reason not to. Gear, season three, I'll probably watch it. On Blu-ray, Japanese. If not, titles. I'll just hand it to Cyber someone City on the street OEDO at gunpoint. 808 will be our third. <laughs> that is from the vault. A new Cyber City OEDO. I'll probably pick up. So look forward to that. Uh, the Double Dragon, um, a Western animated series, is coming to standard def on Blu-ray. Honestly, you should just buy every modern anime that they release and just the and just use it. <laughs> just throw it at people. Uh, against. I'll I'll, uh, I'll leave it under someone's uh, window wipers. <laughs> With a very passive aggressive note. I'm just saying you like do a thing on it for your channel to explain why modern anime is actually worse than Hitler. <laughs> Darkstalkers. Violence Jack, I'll probably you can write. Up. You can write it off your taxes as a business expense. The live action Uzumaki is coming to Blu ray for the first time anywhere. Again, a, actually, uh, if you think about it, every, every uh, show you do a video on, if you watch the, sh the show via the DVD, you can probably write it off. You're spending the buying the Blu ray as a business expense. I, I, haven't, I haven't set up an LLC yet, so I can't really do that. Oh, darn. It's too much, too much paperwork. It's coming to Blu ray. <laughs> is that the only thing stopping you? No. Standard Def on Blu-ray and Power. There's, there's a there's a lot of legal stuff and whatnot. Sergeant, because because technically, at least I'm pretty sure in Canada, you have to have a separate area. Big fat stack. Oh, you gotta have like a business address. These um kind of well, you have to have like wait. You have to have it separate from like your personal stuff. These should be out. So like, I'd have to have another like. When when people say there's an office room months, in their house, it's I mean, and they're, and they're running like a business out of it. That that room is we, like we specifically like that way where it's only like, supposed no, to be used for like long, the office. A couple of months, but yeah, the, type the deal. But I don't I don't know how that goes with the whole pandemic work yeah, we, from home we didn't stuff want anymore. To want to announce dates too far. We're, in, that we're in uncharted in territory. territory. Yeah. Canadian law is not prepared to handle this. Canadian law is invalid. Like it's in the future. We are living a post. We live in a post law state now. 
like they're very close. Yeah, almost all of these are done or almost. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Yeah, pretty so much. like, I think so. You need you, but, you if know, if, if, I had, it, like, if I had like if I had um. We always like to have something. Oh, here we go. At the end. Here we go. Oh, boy. It's always one more thing with these guys. Come on. Channel who wanted to say some words about what we're about to see. Yeah, I'm Mark. I hi do Mark. The social media post the quality. Hi Mark. Control, a few things there. And, hi uh, Mark. Oh hi Mark. A little special that I'm going to be producing, and <laughs> because you. I'm probably the person to do it. So uh, Mike, why don't you go ahead and uh, cue that up? I'll do it. Mega. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Let's go. Finally. Come on. Let's Come on. absolutely go. Alright, this is worth it. This is this okay, is this, this is, is worth hype. the this entire is hype. stream. I am I am I am day one purchasing this. This isn't Cyber Sleuth. <laughs> this isn't survive. This isn't survive, delayed for the fifteenth time. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what will come out first. George R.R. Martin's next book or Digimon Survive? <laughs> uh, man, I just re I'm just reminded that uh, Mimi VA passed away recently. Yeah. I think. I did Joe's not too long ago either. Where's my money At least in English. What did we just see there? Wow. Uh, I think it was Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> I saw just watching ch chat blow up. <laughs> the chat completely explode. I liked that uh, people noticed something about that clip, right? Even though it's on Twitch, it's 720p, it's bit crushed to some extent. They, it, it, there's real quality there, right? So what Hell is yeah. for us? Like, Let's all go. All of season one. We have okay, Digimon scan. Adventure, the first season of Digimon. And we've done a, something a little special with our friends over at Astrorez. Um, for anyone mm -hmm. who's watched Digimon before, there's video I, issues. I and own. There is. I own probably now, and we've been able three VHSs of Digimon still series, somewhere, and it looks quite good. Yeah, and, this and no, it's not the movie. It's not the Angel Anaconda. Intensively uh, done with Astro <laughs> Res, right? We, the funniest every part time is they just edited an actual back, uh, episode from, from of Angela and Tony, but they didn't do that. The floor, we're like, do that. how like, are they doing this? Didn't make that special. Which is normal. They just edited like, the dialogue like, every like, single like, time. Sure. Every single time. Everyone's like, how is this even Oh, possible? two separate releases? Yeah, I'm guessing like, for legal reasons, like, because this is an upscaled 1080p version. And I don't I've know if the original the Digimon Adventures has a 1080p um, release in Japan. Back from him over the last few yeah, days, I and every one of them. So um, I just, the like, same issue happened like with them with um, it's crazy. Lupin the Third Part Four. Right, so this is the Blu-ray, the full, yeah, 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 yeah. the full complete the set we're gonna, we're gonna released in North America before the full release set came out in Japan. So they had to do the English release separate so that people wouldn't reverse import it and then get it that way. Yeah, this is super and not pay two hundred dollars for DVDs. Um, our pal uh, Stephanie is working with me on this, uh, and we're trying to make we're trying to do uh, trying to make the packaging special this time around. Uh, yeah, I'll, know that in the past, I'm I'm like, going to be spending some money tomorrow. Of, I'm like, I'm excited. Cool packaging, so we're trying to give guys 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 guys. If guys, guys. they do this one, it sells well enough. <laughs> that means eventually it'll get to tamers. Early. Yes, so that's actually what I'm uh, uh the like. I'm hoping at least the first three seasons get blue, like proper 1080p Blu-rays. Where's Mimi? For Amers deserves it. I Absolute love Tamers so much. You know. Oh, okay. I love Beelzebub. It's like one of my favorite Digimon characters, straight up. I think he's the coolest. Just absolute makes sense. Digimon Kino. So we've got a few comparison clips. So uh, I'm going to start rolling the first one now, just to just to kind of illustrate what the, what the team was up against taking the original video map. Probably doesn't help that I'm streaming this, so it's like already, already a finish. bit crush of a bit crush. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's hey. a that's a little bit of a difference. See, uh, yeah, Digimon is a. And that, that's just a very. It was a different time. Things were rough. Welcome to 480p, kid. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I, I can. Oh God, I can identify what episode this is from too. Pretty sure. Not that one. 
Oh no! Boys, look at that shimmer, Joe. You're glitching yeah, out. It was just Dot Crawl City originally, and uh, we got rid of. Ever seen Scooby doing the cyber chase? It. It's. I I still can't believe oh. this is real. Oh, okay. It just oh. wow. I was gonna make this a joke about how it's just holding on man to the, the like the um, cyberverse version of the characters. They originally <laughs> produced the show in a number of episodes in the dub. I just, just watched the witches good. Being on we repeat. went back to the Japanese you know, footage fair. for those and cursed. then upscaled them to match the rest. So those episodes no I'm longer. Guessing the hex are girls activated broken. something in Young. Yeah, IG. we we recut them from the Japanese masters. They still oh, look dude. slightly rougher. I than wore up the VHS. Can't even tell anymore after <laughs> nuts. Talk about it and encoding still, fail. Looking at the stream on Twitch and it's still incredibly. Oh, 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 because they're in the digital world. <laughs> no, yeah. Do we want to go on to the next comparison, which is the. Uh, the does this mean the, it, eventually they'll sure. release like the Digimon yeah, movie on a Blu ray? So, uh, hopefully. Yeah, the Japanese Blu ray. I mean, honestly, uh, I'm not sure I could have done better uh, with what they were given, but Astro Res just makes all the difference to that line work. I mean, you guys just saw the SD video source and what we had to work with. Oh, wow. Yeah. With. Like, that is significant. This Blu-ray in particular, this, those Japanese it's Way ones sharper in this one. Quite, Man, whoever you know, Discotech well, or uh, Astro or whatever fan um, gets to do really their, uh, them for, you know, their upscales or like actual miracle it, workers, you know, I swear. Go to that length to get rid of you're all sure that. You sure they don't have the AI do it? That stuff? I, th I think it's partial AI. AI. Yeah, th I don't think there was much. You can only go done. so far I with AI right yeah. now, but it helps a lot. Years. There's a quote from me somewhere going, this is probably as that, good that as That face I, I Ty is know. making my face right now, TBH. Wow. So we're just oh, again, show again. Look at the SD to HD upscale. And the other thing that I did was uh, I just grabbed raw freeze frames from the opening that we just watched. Uh, so we can just have a look at those and yeah it, you know the openings of these shows in general is going to look a little bit better but my god it's yeah, it looks really good, looks real good. yeah shot. looks like it yeah. came out of like a magazine like a dpi scan of promotional artwork rather than no this is just a I, if, if they do do the movies i hope they just release yeah, the I japanese the cuts of them and maybe I mean, i'm and sure maybe those the, uh, will be available as an option yeah. but so we can I mean, get so we can get so we can get the original the movies so we can get the original bell i mean the original summer wars i mean the original when can we get this back from us i think too our yeah. war game that's always uh, a good sign especially because you know i'm gonna be real with you i'm pretty sure we're more likely anywhere. to get the japanese cut of the movies you know, anyway because be god first. can you imagine you the licensing right. nightmare that is the american soundtrack it's been one, it. <laughs> one week since you looked at me. I'm intrigued just because this is this is a show that really shaped anime fandom for a whole generation of, of folks. It did here in the West. Yeah, but it was like I was a little too old for it, so I didn't see too much of it when it first came out. And I'm looking. Oh wow, we got a real boomer on here. Look at it now. Yeah, it really looks completely different than how I've ever seen it, and I have four or five different versions of it from around the world. This is the, is this a Best minute, girl. enough announcement for everybody? <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> I suppose you're forgiven. That has been the motif yeah. of the uh, of the latest. It's no, I it's guess no... they had the ultimate way to close it out. It's no Gunbuster. It's no. It's no Golden Boy Blu-ray. It's no I Dominion don't... Tank Police. Huh. But I I uh, suppose I Mega Man, but... I'll take it. <laughs> Yeah, and by that I mean it's the man who is gonna said he's gonna spend money yeah, like ten not, different times this yeah. game. Fighting robots this yeah. time around, but we got a uh, super fighting, <laughs> yeah. mutating animal. Remember, Digimon is uh, honorary. And code. it's also worth noting a few it's, things it's true. over the years had vanished from the masters, <laughs> like some recaps. Um, thanks to a few people who've been helping us, uh, who Digimon fans might know, Chris McFeely and Onki Kun. We were able to find out about that stuff far ahead of time so we could make sure that hopefully everything's back where it belongs that's been missing from prior releases. I'm still assembling, so, you know, <laughs> we're, we're going to include as many of them as we humanly can. Yeah. All right. Those are, that's, so, uh, that's some I clean upscaling, that's though. That's everything, and, uh, and you know what that means. Um, Customarily in these panels, since they're open-ended, uh, we'll leave a little bit time of time to to talk to audience, to uh, to talk about questions. Uh, now, now, as usual, we will say uh, in advance that 
if you're just going to ask if we can license this or license that, that's we can't talk about that stuff. Everything that was we were going to talk about that's new, we already talked about. Uh, so, 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 so you, what you you're saying thoughts, is no Berserk 97? In the chat, it's going a mile a minute, but we'll try to pick out what we can. Sorry, Master Berserk 2016. <laughs> I'm sorry. Careful what you, you want. It, you want it UHD of Berserk 2016? Say no more. Say no more, fam. You got it cheap just for you. I, actually, um, as much as people I shit on the uh, CGI Berserk 2016, I actually would like a... Um, a UHD of the a uh, Berserk 2013, 2012 the movies. Is in the the show. Uh, movies are pretty solid. Yeah. But it has its own story. Yeah, but, it's not, but, yeah, but that's not as funny. On, so yeah, I screen, know. And I don't remember the other one, to be honest. I remember watching it. Was uh, one of them like a pilot or but something I, like that? Again, who's watching I us expecting so, comedy? But I don't exactly. Recall. To be honest. Uh, I mean, I think I'm I, I don't think we're going to get... The only one who probably agrees with me on that is my mother. I don't think we're going to get... uh. Much out of those. <laughs> so. we, we, some, sometimes uh, we work on so many things at the same time. Exactly. I mean, so that, that's it, folks. It can't be worse than Ruby Q and A's we've watched. I mean, that's true. Um. So, what's your favorite ship for the umpteenth time? Uh, I don't have one. Well, the, the, my favorite ship <laughs> is the one that took them to Atlas. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, that that's it, folks. Uh, thank you for coming out. Uh, I appreciate it. Was it. Fun. it was a good time. I did well, not expect um, that twist at the end. No, at all. Uh, we had some. It's a good way to end it. We had yeah. some good times. We, uh, if if I'm able to keep this vod up, I will. Um, thank you, Adorian Seeker and W9 and Isaac and Bad Vibes and Ivan Cano in the chat. It's been fun. Thank you, everyone who's watched yeah. and stuck around this long and listened to us. Yeah, I, I been, don't know uh, why you've done this instead of watching the actual stream VOD. But... Uh, it's been two hours and 15 minutes. And yeah, so thank you for coming out, everybody. Uh, and next time Discotech does this, Again, if I don't Better get if I, a comment if, to if, bug catch him to finish his videos. If um if I don't get copyright struck over this to hell and back, uh, I'll probably do it again. If not, I mean, I'll, if I stream it again, I'll just do it anyways. It just the vod probably won't be available anywhere. That's fine. Um, it's fine. Yeah, thank you. Nothing thank you disappears out. from the internet forever. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I think I think we'll be probably doing another one in three to four months time. Anyway, they usually have one. This this usually covers stuff up until about the midpoint of the year uh anyway ah, this is so like the their um, kind of thing yeah and then they usually like, do one in like the summer or the fall for like until christmas time or so and then they usually do a christmas stream for the stuff for the beginning of the year next year that's usually big big stuff like last year um last year at christmas time they announced that they got the license to gunbuster type thing so that's exciting so that's where I'm going to end it. Um, I'm not saying... 2021 Christmas or like 2020 Christmas? 2021. Um, I'm not saying that you guys uh, have to go home, but what I am saying is that you guys cannot stay here. So thank you, everybody. Closing again. time. It's closing time. Except for I can't play that song because that's copywritten. Um, it's a great song, though. <laughs> thank you, BB. Thank you, IT. Thank you, everybody else uh, in the Discord. Thanks, who Platypus. Thanks, yeah. HHS. Uh... They bailed, but we will thank what them anyway. What a bunch of losers. Um, but yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, what do they have to do on a Monday night? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Home alone on a Monday night? God, <laughs> pathetic. Uh, uh, you're pathetic, Nissan. Until, until, until next time, everybody. Goodbye. Yeah, right. And that's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs>